Good luck with the game last time we played five to six years ago. It was crashy at the end of the intro mission. Don't at all remember how you got around that. That was a version of Windows or two back, so we'll see. Here's hoping the best. I do have fan patches on. We're currently rocking 1.2, which I think is both the official. There's also 1.3, I think. Somewhere around out there. Uh, I played a decent bit before the stream uh, some weeks back, and there was no issue at all whatsoever. No crashes, no slowdown. Nothing at all. So, uh, seems good. Seems stable. No issues. See how it goes. Now that I'm streaming it, of course, it's probably gonna have just all of the issues ever. Um, shall we... Let's see about backing out, actually, so we can get that intro cinematic. I think, I think, I think. It's just a bit loud at the start, but I can, I can adjust that. Maybe that's okay. Relaunch it. I mean, this is just like the normal whatever. Ugh. That bit's loud. Uh. That bit's really loud. Love that scream. lived here on this Laputa for my entire life. For me, Earth was nothing but a legend, a distant ball of clouds far below my feet, discussed in whispers among my people. She was a paradise, paradise lost, lost in a flash of deadly psionic radiation. We were the chosen, the worthy, ascended to our Laputa heaven through the efforts of the Council of Earth. The Council never told us what we had been saved from, nor did they tell us what exactly happened to our world. All we were told was that Earth was lost to us, and would remain lost to mankind long after the end of our days. Then things started to go wrong. The life support systems began to fail, and the Council weren't able to effect repairs. Instead of responding to the needs of their people, the Council quelled all discontent firmly and completely by any means necessary. It was soon obvious that they had no idea how the Laputa systems worked. When the people learned of this, violent clashes erupted. The fighting escalated and the Laputa's engines were damaged. The Laputa was disintegrating. Some of us broke the forbidden seals on the docking ports and seized the small craft moored there. None of us were trained in spaceflight, but these vessels were our only hope.
bit of story, a bit of lore. Some things story-wise may not add up, but it will all make sense to you. I will say though that the the story of this takes place, what, 50 years after Aftermath? Uh, they are connected, though it is assuming that you went for the first ending of Aftermath, where, um, well, if you haven't watched Aftermath, you probably should. But, the yeah, Aftershock... <laughs> There's two endings to Aftermath. One of them is uh, the alien sends you like a peace message and they're like, hey, we could like totally be friends and just end this whole thing. And you can say yes to that. And then the game just ends there. Or you continue to fight on and you take the fight to their homeland and destroy them. But that's a bit hard of a story to continue on, Punt. There, there is apparently a third end. I think Kaf had mentioned. I don't know anything about that, though. But that's also not the canon ending. The canon ending is you accepting the peace treaty, so we're picking up off of that. And playing as a bunch of people who really know nothing of Earth, and have stolen a ship from the aliens, and retreated. I believe the story was actually made via a fan submission. They did some sort of a, uh, like a writing contest type deal to try to fit the two stories together. Well, that's kind of interesting. I think there's a whole bunch of info online about all that stuff if you're really interested in the story. But there is a story. Um, it is a bit involved. And it does make sense. Just not immediately. If you would like to uh, to join, you totally can. I will be going with the Patreon names again for the, the first set of soldiers. And then we'll just kind of roll through some chat names as we go on. I don't anticipate us getting much more than like a dozen soldiers though, unless a lot of people die. We'll see, though. Thought I went for 1.3? Yeah, I, I wasn't sure on that. But apparently we're just rocking 1.2. I'm not even sure what 1.3 is. Mm -mm. Don't know. Uh, but yes. New game. Tutorial mission. Now, when I tested this game, I did it on Newbie. At first I was like, oof, newbie's even a little bit challenging, but it kind of got to a certain point where after a little bit, I was able to sort of steamroll through every single mission, and I I wiped one of the factions off the map a few times <laughs> before the story had progressed. So we're going to go ahead and try it on Soldier and uh, see how that goes with tutorial mission obviously enabled so we can get really in there. Have I looked at Wildermyth? I don't think so. Sounds sounds familiar. I don't think I've looked at that though. Wildermyth. Sounds familiar. Howdy. The name's Mark. You look like you could use some advice. Well, that's what I'm here for. You definitely show some promise. More than anybody who's been along in quite a while. You could be a fine leader for these people. But before you can lead us, you probably need to know how we ended up here. I was just a kid during the Exodus, so I didn't really understand what was going on. And my parents, well, let's just say they didn't really want to talk about it. What I do remember is that a bunch of aliens, the Ridiculans or some such, Ugh. came out of nowhere and attacked the planet. Most everybody was killed right away. The rest of us escaped to the Laputas. This Laputa we're on looks like some sort of headquarters to me. I'd be surprised if we didn't meet some of those ridiculous here. Shaking my head right now. God damn first it. First things first. You have to learn about the interface controls in the upper left corner of your display. Right now, time is paused. Nothing is happening. That gives you time to plan your actions. If you want to go somewhere, point to that place and click the right mouse button. Mm. A waypoint appears, and you can see the path you'll take from where you're standing to your destination. When all your plans are set, click the run button or press the space bar. That sets everybody in motion. Give it a try. My immersion. Ugh. So this is our UI. Obviously, if you want it a bit bigger, do let me know. I have to uh, to back out and change the executable though for that because of a third party uh, a patch, I suppose, hack really. Um, we're currently rocking 1600 by 900, but it can be a bit smaller if you want the UI a little bit larger, though there's not a whole lot to really see. 
Um, a lot of it's mostly just kind of whatever. I guess like down here is the most important, but again, much like the other game, though, it is real time, except you can pause at any moment. I can also go into slow mo and stuff like that, but that is Good very job. slow. Later on, you can experiment with a different movement modes like sneaking and running. Sneaking is slow, but it's real quiet and stealthy. Running is fast, but noisy. You've also got some stances to choose from, all of which have their advantages and disadvantages. For example, going prone makes it harder for enemies to hit you, but it has some drawbacks too. Your field manual should tell you everything you need to know about that stuff. Keith, you always start with Keith for this tutorial. The names are... I think even the starting four names of the people that you get after the tutorial, I think they're always the same. But their stats, I believe, are randomized. Slow motion. If we want to do some, like, really cool hot action stuff, there we go. I'm not going to be playing with slow mo too, too much because it is really quite slow. Though there are some instances of firefights where you really need it to be kind of slow because you got to react really fast with what's going on. But uh, we can also speed up time. Slow mo romancing movement. Yeah, we just need to feel the flowers or something. Nice photo of Barry Looks Burton like looking at his gun. Very yeah, nice. Use this one. Oh. Tutorial window. Windows like this do tutorial things, and you can click next and, and all that. Okay, thank you. So now we have Keith and Irene, which can what? I, uh, yeah, I can actually see your stuff. Our paper doll with our slots and stuff like that, the stuff that's on the ground, their general stats, super heroic, plus one hip points, Keith's got. Oh, super heroic capacity as well. He can fit such a load. Ready. Oh. Irene's looking... Still quite good. We won't start with these two after the tutorial. They're just completely bullshit for this purpose. And if you want some of those stats on medium armor, we start with, interestingly. Not even light armor. Again? If only we actually got to keep some of those. In a way, we kind of keep some of it. On my way. Here I go again. Second game? Attacking yeah, this is the second one. It is easy. Just point at the enemy and right click to give the after math order. after shock after Remember, light time is paused so you're only planning your attack it isn't executed until you start the time running again if you move your mouse pointer over the target you can see your chance of hitting the target from your planned position after you plan the attack the chance of hitting is displayed permanently over the target until the attack is executed Sometimes you can't plan an attack. This is usually because there's no clear line of sight between you and the target. If this is the case, plan your movement first, and then try to plan your attack. Try planning an attack now. Okay. I like this dude's shirt situation. He's got a plain white tee and then like a, a blue A-top thing going on that like could be suspenders but isn't and this cool green scarf thing. I don't know if that's meant to be a collar or what. I don't know. He looks ready though. Oh my god, an alien. Oh. They look similar to the other game. Again. So we're gonna plan this like super duper cool, okay? What? We're gonna go into quick fire mode. Reduced accuracy. By, uh, not by a whole lot. It's what, 29%? If we aim. Okay, it's actually it's actually a massive amount. We're gonna go quick shot anyway. And uh what? Well quick shot, what Keith. Now? You'll move up. You'll kneel. You will Yeah, just single fire. Yeah, yeah. And then take I a see. shot. Note the accuracy is assuming that he's moved up, but the alien stays put. The alien will not be staying put, though. But just so you're Ready. aware, like if I have Irene shoot now, it'll be 69-ish percent, but if I tell her to move up and shoot, suddenly 99 percent. Same deal with Aftermath. Uh, I think this game's a little bit better about it, though, because this game... Uh, I forget how Aftermath did it exactly, but I found it harder to uh, queue stuff up properly in Aftermath. I forget why. Like, it kept clearing out whenever I changed anything. XCOM clone style thing. 
pretty close to it. The same concept of XCOM with the Geoscape and Battlescape type deal, taking technology, researching it, manufacturing stuff. Uh, the game itself, though, um, I guess it's still sort of tile-based, in a way. Good to go. It's closer to XCOM Apocalypse, though, because, like, you get, like, real time and you can pause at any moment to do stuff. Oh. Irene, I'm actually gonna have you go auto-fire, too. Like pew, pew, pew. This is your first kill, my friend. Later, when you get some better weapons, you can experiment with different weapon modes, like single and auto fire, mm -hmm, and learn mm -hmm. the difference between snap and aimed mm -hmm, fire. Mm -hmm. Eventually, for some weapons, you can even choose different ammo types for different targets. Is it actually dead? It is actually dead. Okay. It doesn't have to be dead. A lot of things don't actually get that. That one, that one might just be scripted to be dead, though. What? Yes, sir. So, Irene, I'm gonna have you scoot over, turn that way. I'm gonna have you crouch down and take just snapshots. Or sorry, single fire mode. What now? Whereas Keith, I'm gonna have you just like a wild son of a gun, just charge on in there what? and shoot it. Do I have to get them all? Yes, you do, Keith. Great. Every Here there's actually two of them, Keith. Look out. Look out. Yeah, I know, Keith. There's actually a ton of them. Jesus. Go, Keith, go. What? You're fine. How the hell better do that? I'm a ghost. Good to <laughs> Just go. Charging into there. So seven, yes, yeah. sir. Kiri seven, I'm ready, sir. <laughs> Zelly salute awaiting orders. <laughs> Fxo seven, remember the skull jack, sir. Man, Brian really butchers those. Theranum, thank you very much, Tier 1. 18 months on an 18-month streak. Happy to have you. Quick check his pockets. What now? Yeah, Keith, why are, why are over here, actually? As he's just being lit right the fuck up. What? Again? No, uh, I guess I can't. Yeah, yeah, I'm going. Can't loot him? Oh, yeah, I can. Oh. Dual build. Although, actually, can you what? dual build? No. Gunman. Can remain standing when hit. He's got knockback resistance. Ready. There is, I think, ranger oh, specializations that you can give, and the second rank of that allows you to actually dual build. I don't know if we'll be getting around to doing that or not. Here I go again. That's Good smart. Okay, ya. Uh... What? Oh. Keith, you gotta do a Terminator run, dude. You gotta get this guy. Humanity depends on it. They'll rat us out or something otherwise. Oh, what? did you? Oh, you didn't actually do a build. I interrupted him picking up the weapon. He was putting his weapon in his offhand and then picking up the thing. Uh, but I interrupted it. Unconscious. And dead. You gotta be kidding me. Good work. Ready. On my you can way. stand up and move what over. Now? Let's investigate this mysterious portal thing. What? I think it's Ranger Rank 2 for uh, dual building. It is a thing, though. Is this even where I'm meant to be? Okay, it is. Mm. What now? Oh. We have Jeremy now. What do you need, Commander? Oh, there you go. Jeremy's a, a ranger third level. Can move while affected with serious injuries through perseverance, and then ranks two and one. Uh, I don't know what rank one is, but two I think is a dual building, which he started with two weapons, so it's a little bit obvious that that's the deal with that. What? Museum? Yes, Not quite a museum. Let's go quick fire for everybody. And I rain. Good to go. On my way. Set you up here what like now? a turret. Jeremy. What? Just start blasting. Keith, just run up in there. Look out. Yes, sir. Kiss him goodbye. Again. Uh. <laughs> Irene, please.
He's looking at me like, the fuck, dude? <laughs> what? I'll Should be noted, my soldiers will do nothing without me explicitly telling them. Keith will happily stand here and watch Jeremy get lit up while Jeremy just stands there with a dumb look on his face. They do like headshot. They do not mind at all whatsoever. Something to keep in mind. Before such circumstances, you can have the game auto-pause when somebody takes damage, or auto-pause when you see something, and all that. Yes, sir. Did you see that? See what? See where? What do you need, Commander? Yes, sir. Attacking, Commander. Yeah. Okay. Huh? Ready or not? Fires them both at the same time. Here I go again. Good to go. Great. Here comes. Ragdolls make combat at least three times more interesting. You can or enter into entertaining. You can feel it. I love the ragdolls. I'm a I'm a huge fan of ragdolls. There's nothing quite like just shotgun blasting what? some dude around the corner and throwing them against the wall. Again. I don't care if it's not yeah, realistic. Yeah. It's I'm fun, going. damn it. So Keith, I'm gonna have you also what? just go with burst yeah, fire. Yeah. I see him. My attack is screwed. Aborting. There's a pretty large emphasis strategically on yes, hurting them before they have a chance to hurt yeah. you. So quick attacks and all that are really solid. Okay. And that also makes melee a little bit disgusting. I don't want to be doing too much melee. We'll probably get axe involved at some point, but I don't want to rely on it too much. But you could absolutely just have a full squad of dudes with katanas running around slaughtering everything, and it'll work beautifully. Uh, mission successful. We can stay here if we want, or I can just hit no and we just leave now when it does auto collection and all that stuff. Totally fine. Uh, a little less abrupt in this game. Aftermath was pretty nasty with like, oh, you gotta kill some, you know, some nasty mutants and stuff, and you could be just being annihilated by car crabs and such. And the game's just suddenly like, oh, mission accomplished, do you want to go? And you just abort out of the mission. <laughs> this game's a little less easy to do that with, because this game kind of expects you to kill at least everything. Or most of it. Reaper slash Chrysalid in their ranks. Mmm, don't think so. They don't have a... I think cultists have melee units. These controls aren't all that different to the interface in our Laputa. I think we'll get the hang of it in no time. Those controls in the lower left manipulate our view of the Earth. We can rotate the view as well as zoom in and out. You could stay in the mission for a bit more experience. There are in the local library that should prove or to patch somebody up quick with a med kit before taking off. To open the research screen. Just tell us what to research and we'll get right onto it. We found a small capsule here that looks like some sort of transport system. Probably used to transfer people from here to the Earth's surface and back. Some of the humans here who took part in the Exodus mentioned boarding similar capsules and traveling to the Laputa. We can safely assume that the circle on the Earth map projection represents the landing area that is within the capsule's range. Click the equipment button to assign soldiers and equipment to the capsule. After that, launching a mission is as simple as clicking the triangle and then clicking the launch mission button. Just remember, we don't have many weapons at this point and only a few of the soldiers have been trained to use the ones we have. It's an important note. For the weapons that we have currently, uh, this is just like a notification thingy, I think. This is, I forget what that is. The Luputa Dili, we can move over here. Lobe controls we can throw, I guess here, though I don't really need them. So you always start on this part of the globe. This big thing is obviously the Luputa. We can generally move it around and that's our like accessible area. From the Luputa, we send down like the little dropship and we can only embark on a mission when it's inside the circle. So down the road, uh, a bit of the management becomes like, where do you park your ship? Where do you need to defend and stuff like that? It's a sort of concept that I'm seeing these sort of XCOM-ish games do a little bit more and more, rather than just you're everywhere in the globe all the time, always, no matter what. We do have research and manufacturers, also diplomacy and factions and all that jazz, but currently it's all locked off because tutorial. Uh, Squad-wise, though, Eric, Betty, Neil, and David. Beautiful people, these. 
We start with some reticulant rifles. I'll actually clear everybody out so we get a good overview of what we've got. We got a few rifles, we got 17 cells for them. And we got 9 pistols with 18 cells for those. Is this actually a different cell? No. No, 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 I just can't read. 18 ammo for all the rifles that we've got. We cannot make more of this. Uh, no special training required to use it. Do not have the technology or facilities to manufacture reticulant power cells. So for the moment, this being really our only weapon and we can't manufacture stuff, we have to be a bit careful with our ammo situation. We could use knives, but uh, the knife is, is kind of bad. It does, it does have throwing capabilities, though, if you want to use it as a throwing knife. The range is god-awful with it. It's like three tiles. It, you may as well just stab them. I cannot find a situation in which throw knife is actually useful, even with somebody who's good at throwing. Which, um... Eh, you're not bad with it, you're good with throwing. Gosh. Uh, this uses obviously rifle skill, this uses the close range skill. So as far as rifles go, I guess you're both average with it. And you're both average with pistols, so... I suppose that works out. I might, though. Mm. Nah, nah. I, I think I just avoid the knife entirely. I will get a little bit of spare ammo for everybody, though. Yeah, the game's 2005. 2004, I think, was Aftermath, and then 2007 for Afterlight. Something like that. Well, you don't like close range for pistols. It's a uh, gun foo or something. I level up stuff and you tell them what to level up and that affects all their skills when you level these up and under certain circumstances they can get specific training. Training takes a while, but it's definitely worth doing. The things highlighted in yellow indicate that you need to improve it still up to a certain level before you can learn it. I'm not really sure what to do with a lot of these. Cyborg and Psionic, I don't think you can train anybody. That's just like a passive inherent trait that some folks have. We can change nicknames though, which uh, I will do. You can use the join command to be thrown into the queue and I'm picking names at random, but the first four, I'm going with the Patreon names. And I'm going with a little bit of bias. The folks who didn't get a whole lot of love previously in XCOM 2. We got Rogue. We've got... Atsan, Atsan got a little bit extra. I'm gonna skip Atsan. You were the other Templar. You can, you can fucking wait. Left, Lur, and Neil is Ove, and David. Gambit, zero one seven. How long is this? Okay, that's about as long as it is actually. Gonna have to go with, like, some fairly short names. <laughs> we'll have to get creative with it. No disability, dot dot dot. Ominous. Yeah, that, that's okay. And we can set up other squads, too. If uh, you got, like, a specific set of people that work really well together, you can do that. But I'm probably just gonna be rocking, like, squad A forever. Okay, so anyway, moving on with life. We have a mission here. Villagers are asking us to help them with their fight against hostile mutants that inhabit the region. If we want the help, we must go in and eliminate the mutant threat. Objective of this mission is to locate and terminate the mutants in the area. Double check the squad. Looks good. We do have some medkits, actually. No training required, but obviously medical skill improves the medkit use. The medkits are kind of terrible, unless you're good with medkits. Like, really good with medkits. They, they take forever to use, and they're very, very weak. And with that, we can launch. That's okay. We do get a choice in where we embark on the missions. There are overall more maps in this game than there were in Aftermath. However, they do get a little bit repetitive in this game because there are definitely more missions that you'll be doing through the playthroughs. So eventually, you kind of know the layout of the map and where to expect stuff to go down. I'm going to, for safety's sake, park up in the corner of the map and we can more easily clear out the map that way. 
So, you're from that flying thing, huh? That thing that looks as big as the moon? Thing that sometimes passes over our village? Well, it's pretty obvious you don't know jack about what's going on down here. <laughs> Jeez, where do I even start? Well, about 50 years ago, all that biomass started sprouting everywhere. Dang near killed everybody on the planet. The rest of us have been fighting it ever since. It's mostly under control now, but there's still pitiful few humans around, especially compared to the days before the disaster. But it was our ancestors that were kind of responsible for the biomass in the first place. Humans got too uppity, too careless, and self-absorbed. The biomass was just the planet's way of reminding us where we stand in the scheme of things. Hmm. Anyway, we sure that could mouth. use some help here. <laughs> there are things we just can't deal with. There are mutants and monsters galore roaming around here. You, with all your fancy equipment and weapons, you could make short work of them. We'd sure be grateful for any help you could give us. It was just so loudly chewing. Man. Ah, hello, Commander. Oh, God. Yeah, I got all this. And then portraits. Yep, yeah, I got all that. Orders, Commander? Hey. I'm just going to set everybody right away to quick fire and auto fire. Then we'll yes, sir. I move out. Again. We're here to kill? Just some amount. We're not sure how many. Orders, Commander? Yeah, yeah, I'm going. There's one. Flatster. Low to the ground, hard to hit, and generally, like, kind of resistant. These bastards are, like, awfully tanky. I don't really Ready. enjoy fighting them too much. Again? Heads up. There's also a muck star. Yeah, yeah, I see. Yes, sir. We didn't fight many muck stars in aftermath. Ready, sir. What now? Yes, sir. What's making that noise? What? Spooky. Anyone else hear that? Wow, it's unconscious already. Holy Good shit. To go. Boo, it's Cody. Gifting five tier one subs. Gifted 15 this far on the channel. Thank you very much for that. It's gone to my mad spoon. Blood will set. Templar Warden. Barreth and Naven are. Thank you very much. Did fight them in files, though. Well, did I? I think I just ran from them in files. Again? <laughs> I... I didn't fight them in foils. What? Do I have to get them all? They're really quick. They do have a range attack, and they're very, attack. very squishy. They kind of just pick on you. Moral, but on the other hand, quite a bit of a different story. You know them, you love them. They were a bit of a joke in Aftermath. In this game, they're pretty fucking scary. They can have guns, they can have grenades, and they've got by default this nasty poison attack that's just like an acidic burn. And they can fire it pretty quickly, and its damage stacks. You cannot medkit faster than the damage comes in. Y what you now? pretty much just... Another one. Order's you pretty commander? much just yeah, yeah. go somewhere safe and be unconscious. Yes, it's about the best you can do. Ready, sir. Bro, what's your story? Why can't you shoot this thing? Ah, it was on the corpse. Got it. Hell, I will. Uh, yeah, got that. Thanks, Again. Cam. Look out. Is it just the one that we see? No, there's two things. There's a muck star over there too. Ready. What? Okay. Gambit. Work on the muck star, maybe. What? Good to go. Ove. Scoot to the side. Again. Work on the moral yes, Rogue. Targeting enemy. Work on the moral man. Yes, sir. Again. These things take quite a bit of firepower to bring down. What now? I've aborted the attack. Okay, just injured. And the Muckstar, also just injured. Oof. Yes, sir. Ove, run up, sink of fire, kill that. Orders, Commander? Rogue. Again? Get a bit closer with Luffler. What now? Good to go. What? 
Here I go again. Yeah, it's back yes, up. Sir? What do I have to get They don't often stay down for very long, but they're very easy to bring back down. Yes, sir. Moving out. Yeah. What? Do I have to get them all? I've aborted the attack. Okay. We're good. So Gambit needs a reload soon, the yellow bar here being the ammo. The pistols, it looks like they don't have a whole lot of ammo left, like it looks like Leffler needs ammo, but the bar actually only goes to as far as the tile is, so one-handed weapons are a bit harder to read the ammo count for. But they're okay. Ready, sir. Gambit's a little bit low, but uh... I go again. I'll risk it. Okay, another Muckstar over there. Man, yes, a lot sir. of Muckstars. This is right. a pretty okay first oh, mission. Go. Good to go. What? There was sort of a cover system in the game too, a little bit. Um, Ready, I'm not sir. fully certain how it works exactly, because the game like... kind of sort of checks projectiles, but it's also fairly predetermined. So I don't... Are you kidding? I don't really know to what extent cover helps. Hey, I the one hops. Welcome, welcome. What now? Yeah, yeah, I'm going. Yes, sir. Like... What? If you were to stand here... Well, this might not... count. Yes, sir? Because I think it would be out of line of sight here. Yeah, well done, Rogue. Shoot the ground. Yeah, you just can't see them anymore. Yeah, okay, Rogue. Well done. You shot the ground. Yeah, I don't know if cover works or not. It makes me feel better using it sometimes, though. But against these enemies, it's not really a huge deal just running together as a group and taking them out together. Heads up. Brain Man. I'm not really sure what they do, aside from die. I, I think they have a melee attack? Again? They're really good at just dying, though. Good to go. What? They seem to be a little bit resistant to this ammo type. What now? Ah, you there guys we go. from the sky sure got here in the nick of time. You saved the village, and we're really grateful. That old factory will be a valuable source of ancient technologies and materials. We're happy to share anything we can with you. If you'd like to build a permanent outpost on the planet, we'd be happy to help you if you're willing to help us. Some of our more ambitious youths might even be convinced to join your ranks. Mm -hmm. There is friendly fire. What? what um, now? like if I were to tell Gambit to attack, just like some dude here, you see over Luffler the chance to hit on accident, with the carrots indicating that it's like not meant as the target. It is a thing. Uh, unknowingly. What now? I can't even, Here like, go again. prone over what? the shot. Like, there's still the friendly fire chance. No? Wait, maybe not. What? But I remember it happening. Huh, okay, so maybe, maybe prone is okay. What? Yeah, fine. What about kneeling? What now? Yeah, yeah. I don't believe you. Okay, if you were to attack Olve, now we got the chance. This is not reading correctly because you're shooting the ground and it just, I don't know. Isn't thinking about it, I guess. What? Here I go again. Yeah, okay. 98% too. Like, he's super duper not in the way. Hmm. Okay. Uh, we are okay to finish the mission. We got a reticulum power cell back. Aha. And then a ton of 9mm ammo on a Desert Eagle. Desert Eagles use 9mm ammo. I don't understand it, but it is what it is. Good job, Olfe. Best shooter. Nice. Well, our first encounter with the humans on Earth went pretty well. Considering how surprised they probably were to see us, Offering us a permanent base in their territory is certainly more than we could have expected. 
We've already laid out the base perimeter. To take a look, select the base region on the Earth hologram and activate the detail view in the lower right corner. Our first priority for base structures is a factory that can produce weapons and equipment to support our ongoing missions. The equipment we brought with us won't last forever. We should also think about building labs to analyze equipment and information we acquire on our missions. To add buildings to the base, double-click the base detail view or click the base button. In order to start construction, we need to gather resources, specifically old earth technology. The villagers we've met have agreed to share some of their material with us. We're keeping track of the human material units we have and how fast we are gaining or losing material in the top center of the screen so that we always have an idea of how well we're progressing in this regard. UFO enemy I know is a totally different game. I myself game. will carry you to the gates of Valhalla. You will ride eternal, shiny and chrome. That's XCOM UFO Defense. Totally different series. Ezra died tier 1, 32 months on a 31 month streak. Thank you very much. Hmm. Yeah, this is more Geoscape stuff. So we actually have stuff unlocked now, which is nice. Time's currently paused. Uh, oh, is that what this window was? That's the what territory I have selected, I think. E. Okay. So. We have a little resource note there for 27 resources. It's a mine. That'll be the basic uh, human technology. This is like advanced human technology and this is alien technology. Mm, we'll get into how to get all this stuff later on. Because I think for now, I don't know what I'm allowed to do exactly. But this is currently our main base. It's got five building slots on it. We can currently only build a basic weapon factory. At the uh, it costs the usuals. It doesn't have like a maintenance cost though, which is kinda cute. We can also build no, okay, nothing else. All we know is the basic weapon factory. Which I can't build multiple of. The more basic weapon factories I have, the faster we manufacture stuff. Um factories and labs work together across all bases, across the globe. Defense and knowledge is specific to the base. We'll get into that later on, though. Uh, back to Geosphere. So you're already connected, it seems, because this is already generating, um... This is already generating a bit of the income. So I guess I don't need to track to it, actually. I thought I might have needed to. Hmm. Back to Geosphere, though. Let's take a look at research. The research starting off, all we have is the Luputa itself. It has a lab on board. As we build different lab facilities and bases, more laboratory types will show up. Each laboratory type has its own research tree going on. We'll get into that later on. For the moment, I would like to go for basic weapon lab floor plan so we can use that lab to research basic weapon type technologies because the sooner we can get away from these pistols and rifles that we have now the better because we currently don't have a way to restock their ammo so to me this is most important so cue that up afterwards we can take a look at Probably Laputa Library Analysis is just like a lower thing, but let's hold off for the moment. I'm not going to queue too much up. Is this the Geoscape? Yeah, this is the Geoscape. There's no dying in the Geoscape. Don't worry, we're totally safe here. Nobody dies in the Geoscape, and no, I'm never going to let that go. Um, For the moment, I don't think we can really do a whole lot here. Actually, just going to move this like over here. Eventually, we can like select the territory and click mission to like try to get a mission there. There's this whole thing about working with people and trying to get them to join your side and doing missions for them makes it easier for them to join you. You can also just take the area by force if you don't care about your reputation with them. But for the moment, I think that might be locked off. Oh, never mind. It's actually completely open. So we're looking for a mission there. We're, we're currently like... 
scanning for an opportunity to take this territory. It could take a little while. New research. Uh, Brain Man Autopsy, which I can't actually do because I need the medical lab for that. Moral Man Autopsy, Flat Star Autopsy, Boxer Autopsy, yes. I don't know if the autopsies are worth doing in this game. Probably. Basic weapon lab floor plan. Already done. So far, we're kicking ass. Ordnance factory. Construct factories that can manufacture basic ammunition and explosives. Sounds like a cool thing. And we can clear out finished projects. I don't really care about that too much. If I were to look into other tech, this is technically other stuff that we could research. Uh, like basic human weapons. But this requires a basic weapon lab, which we've just learned to do, I believe. So if we go into our base, labs, basic weapon lab, get that in there. This not only costs the usual to build, this actually has an operation cost. So while the research is happening, uh, we are draining materials a little bit. Since we're actually getting this basic thing, it's, it's kind of fine. It's a little bit whatever, but the advanced materials could be a bit of a problem. I will, however, build two of them because I can. I can actually just like fill up the entire base with them and I don't know if I should do that or not. Um. I get a couple basic weapons done too. And then we'll leave that fifth slot open. Maybe you learn their weak spots and soldiers are more effective? Yeah, I don't... I don't remember if that's a thing or not. I want to say there was benefit to doing it, but not sure. And then Ordnance Factory Floor Plan. That's already done. No, that's just telling me that it's available to do. We'll be getting a lot more bases. We have just received a distress call from the villagers we encountered on the surface. If we don't get down there and help them, we could lose everything we've acquired so far. To start the mission, click the mission icon on the Geosphere, and then click the Launch Mission button. Good luck. Let's do it. Infested by Dengaris, roving bands of mutants. Locals need our help to eradicate them. Okay, let's do it. Assistance to local forces. Checker squad, make sure we're all good to go. Uh, we did get a Desert Eagle, and plenty of ammo for it, so somebody who uses close range can have that, which basically just whoever has the basic pistol. Uh, are you loaded? Okay, yeah, that's loaded. So you've grabbed all the ammo. I'm not sure if I can split the stack from here. I'm not sure. But you're bringing all the Desert Eagle that we have got left. That's fine. Desert Eagle is really not that great, but it's kind of all we've got. And I don't know what the engine is the for this. Biomass has worked to twist and pervert all Might be custom. things. It is we, the humans, who are the true heirs of humanity, not freaks and monsters. Most of the mutant creatures the biomass created those we call transgenants live like animals. Some travel alone, others travel in packs, but none of them are what you or I would call intelligent. There are some humanoid freaks who are able to speak. They congregate in what pass for villages. They're but a parody of true humanity. Their mutations give them special powers. One group, those we call the cyborgs, are able to use artificial implants to enhance their bodies. They're stronger and faster than us. The others we call psionics. They have strange psychic powers. Most of their abilities are quite weak at a distance, but they are able to inflict great confusion and harm if you get too close. Ready, sir. 
Standard deal. I always start off that way with just like fire quickly and also burst fire. And if I need you to be more accurate, then we can adjust that as time yes, goes sir. on. So we've got locals are somewhere over here. We can see from the white arrows. Pointing out generally the objective. Way. Let's go. Special icons. Ooh. Uh, indicate ongoing positive or negative, suffering from effects of poison and stuff. Yeah, because you've got... You got stuff going on. Yes, sir. Oh, one of the... One of the locals must have leadership and they're giving us buffs. That's really handy. Good to go. Are they above? Moving out. What now? Oh, yes. Ready. Yes, they are. Good to go. All right. The uh, leadership is a cool thing. It's just like a aura around them I that's making one. us more resistant to psi attacks, which won't really help us here, Orders, honestly. Commander? But oh well. Okay, rogue. It's got a it's got a gun. This one. It looks like a rifle. It'd be cool to have it, but I don't think we can. What now? Oh crap! What? Yes, sir. Oh crap? I think they're talking noise over there. Here they come. Oh Jesus, a flatster! Rogue behind you. Oh, yeah. Yes, sir. What? Ah. Attack the board. Stay on him. Where the hell did they go? <laughs> Orders, oh, commander. Shit. The kill shot. Yes, sir. Oh, oh, it's not a rifle, it's a shotgun. Damn. Alright, well, I mean, it's past 15. Yeah, sure. Take it. We should auto loot it afterwards, but take it anyway. Oh. Actually, I should probably give that to somebody who actually has Ready, rifle sir? skill, right? No, it's actually a close range skill. Okay, that makes sense, actually. Put that back down. What are you doing with that rogue? That's not for you. What Give now? that to Leffler. There's one. What? I see one. Hmm. Yeah. Good to go. Again? Yes, sir. What? Here I go again. Where did they go? I'll belt that and pick up some more cartridges and that. There's one. Dude, it's just a trillion yes, flatsters here. What the hell? Good to go. Ready, sir. I right. can hear the bastard sneaking go. around. Ah, okay. So we don't always have to see them. But depending on your observation skill, you may also hear enemies, and later on there will be other ways to detect them too. But for the moment it's just like basic boring sight and hearing. So we hear something over there, we don't know what it is. Yes, sir. Again? Yes, sir. What? Like okay, that's that's Adi. These local humans are uh, they're doing pretty good. I'm not really sure if I'm needed here. Oh hell! Where'd he go? Stay on him. <laughs> Can I? Bigger. I don't know. Yes, sir. The hell's going on out here? We went in? Okay, they got him. Good work, everybody. So there's the other spots 15. There's also a fragmentation grenade that we got and another power cell too. It does give you a little bit of power cells for doing missions to help uh, mitigate the loss of power cells because again, we can't manufacture these things. Um, Gambit was the best shooter. Well done. So there's another territory that we've got, and just to confirm. Yeah, now we got 51 income. So we don't need to build tracks. Generally, you would have to like select a zone and build a track. And tracks are just like highways and roads and all that stuff, so you can transport materials around. 
Um, I guess because this is all in the same major zone that one of our bases are in, it works out. But there will be some times where it's in a different zone and we have to build a track to actually get the, the material. The problem with tracks though is that they start costing the fancy alien alloys after a little while, and those are obviously a bit difficult to come by. Tracks might improve the income anyway. Mm, the uh, science level definitely does. If I were to build libraries and get our knowledge level up, that'll improve it. But it seems to just be working as is. Not sure building a track anyway will help. Go for a mission up there now. And we've got two basic weapon labs done. So we can now go into... not there. Into research. And now, because we have a new lab, we can actually research weapon lab stuff. Basic human weapons would take by default three days, 14 hours, but I've got two labs, so it actually just takes one day, 19 hours. It's a pretty simple, just like, divide by X type deal, which means I'm not gonna need to get like 20 labs because you get hugely diminishing returns. Really just a few labs is enough. Some of the researches do take like a week though, and uh, time will be a pretty important thing in this game. Obviously, you gotta try to stay ahead of the curve a little bit. If I wanted a detection lab floor plan, I need a detection device. Uh, firearms, I need basic human weapons for, so we can see about doing that afterwards. There's some stuff. Sometimes you don't need the prerequisite down there. Sometimes you just get a boost. Like if I'm learning to do, uh, if I could do grenade launcher and rocket launchers, if I research like the grenade launcher, it'll be like, oh, because you've got the grenade launcher, the rocket launcher research is a lot faster because it's a pretty similar technology behind it. So that's nice. I think that's a really neat thing. Uh, Ordnance factory is almost done. And then... Yeah, nah, let's just go with the library analysis. I'm tempted for library, but it's not really necessary quite yet. Check the manual. Correct, only different regions with their own capitals need to be connected. Okay. Yeah, and I, I have trouble reading uh, the regions and territories and all that, so... I'll probably end up having too many tracks at some point anyway. That's just how it goes. So basic weapon factory is done, carry on. Manufacturer can't make anything yet though, I think. Oh, I can actually make armors. Well then. I'm glad I did this. I want armor and helmets, but I want enough for a squad of people. So we'll say five of each. It's gonna take quite some time, but hey, armor. Ordnance factory floor plans done. Right, yeah, I, I just looked at that. So now you're working on the library. It's got a lot of depth in it, and it kind of throws it all at you at once. So if you're a little bit confused, or we not, it will make sense eventually. I'm also dog shit at explaining things, so. <laughs> we'll get there. Can I? There we go. Center it up a little. Ooh. Hello. So this... Budapest in the Balkans. Mutants currently own it, so that's good. There's a mine there to get us 20 more basic alloys over time, and there's also a stash, an immediate injection of 950 fancy alloys. I definitely want to go here. Because mutants own it, we can just kind of charge in there. And, uh, and take it out straight away. No faction currently owns it, so it's ours for the taking. If we can manage to drive out the wild reticulans in the area. <sighs> okay. Equip squad. I'm going to... Throw that away. You can have a shotgun. 
because Rogue's gonna be eating up all of our 9mm ammo for this. And we only have the one frag grenade, so we're gonna just ignore that. And then you both have ruffles. Okay, fine. And, uh, I guess just there is fine. Orders, Commander? Right. Here we go. <laughs> Basic building, nothing too wild. Yes, sir. We're going to go There's into one. the back. Never mind. Just as before. They're to go. not as scary in this game. They're painful a bit, but they're not as scary. Yes, sir. And yeah, these close range weapons are really, really close range. Orders, Commander. Let's get Gambit. Get you off on the left and kneel down. Yeah, yeah, damage and all that. So there's two types of damage: stun damage and then damage damage. The red part of the bar is stun damage. We can heal that with a med kit. Uh, if they take a lot more damage, it'll turn black, and we can't currently heal black damage. Eventually, with a good enough doctor, you can. Yes, sir. What now? Oh my God, Luffler! Yeah, yeah, I'm Chance to hit is dog shit. Maybe just go single what? fire. Yeah, just go single fire. What now? What? Holy shit! And Gambit kneeling down. I'll also yeah, have you go yeah, single I fire. See. Good to go. Yeah, yeah, yes, I'm going. While Rogue and Luffler get a bunch closer, because their weapons are garbage. Luffler. I got hit by a laser pointer. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> right off their feet. Ready, sir. Uh, Rogue, Ready would you out. please... Yes, step up. Good to go. Change out the what? weapons. What now? Gambit, watch our ass. Never mind, Gambit. Uh, aimed shot? Still no. Just simply out of range. Orders, Commander. Again. Mm. Ready. What? Here I go again. Get. Good to go. Okay. How what about now? this? Ready. Olve, step to the left and what? shoot. Leffler, step yes, down. Rogue. Look out. Stay put a minute. Gambit what? also sees this guy. Can't really take a shot. Kneel down and try. Eh? Oh shit. What now? Never mind, Gambit. Burst what? fire. Take him out. Orders, Commander? And Rogue begin doctoring. Again? Yes, sir. No what? problem. Son of a Yeah. Yeah, that's just gonna be pain for you. Leffler is too what? short range for this. Again? Yeah, yeah, I'm going. What? Here I go again. What now? Son of a Hang in there, Leffler! Gambit, are you letting? Kind of. Maybe. Sort of. Ready, sir. Yes, sir. Sure. Like hell, I will. Good to go. Ove reloading. He's rotting. Aborting. He's Orders, a rotten. Commander. Keep Doctor and Rogue. What Got now? this. Is he dead or just knocked out? Ah oh, hell. Where'd he go? Doing a little crouch walk. Yeah, all right. Great. Here comes trouble. Take yeah, slow, yeah, accurate see. shots, Gambit. Yes, sir. Get Ove around the car. While Rogue plays Doctor a bit longer. You see how much slower these shots are, though? Good to go. 
DPS race strat wise, it's uh, awful doing it this way, but I feel like we're taking better aim shots than they are. So it yes, works sir. out. What? Stay put, Good watch my go. back in case he gets back up. Ove will Move go again. in for a kill shot. Pew pew pew. It's done. On my way. And that's the mission. Okay. I will continue playing yes, on. Sir. No problem. So Rogue can what now? There we go. Yeah, you see the black bit of health now that Luffler's got. I can't heal that. That just is what it is. Gambit's also a little bit wounded. Sure. No problem. Uh, so slow. Ah, uh, okay. Finish mission. I don't know if that actually helps with the total time to heal thing. Hmm. It still knows how much total HP was lost, so... Mm. Hit ratio, 69%. Very nice. Rogue, best shooter. Also, our best medic. Don't you give the UFO series a try now that I realize it's not weird, just not part of XCOM, but how could I know if they're called XCOM UFO over here? Yeah, it's a bit distracting, in it? Because it's UFO, enemy unknown, and then aftermath, aftershock, after light. They all start with UFO, but yeah, nah, it's a completely different game. It's an entirely unique series. This possible. Your ongoing compliance is appreciated. Oh, thank you, Lithrandal. What's the difference between a cranky two-year-old and a duckling? One is a whiny toddler and the other is a tiny waddler. Aww. The Earth's surface is 70% water. That water is uncarbonated. Therefore, the Earth is flat, D. Holy shit. Lith Randall dropping some truth bombs. Fucking hell. I feel so lit and woke. I feel like dabbing. My brain is so swole. <laughs> Flat Earth theory proven. Thank you, Lith Randall. Uh, we can do alien autopsy now, but I can't actually because I don't have the lab for it. Nah. -ha. And then this area, we're working on, like, the areas that aren't filled in are areas that are just like, we've taken a peek, just passively, we've already looked at it a bit. Um, this is owned by humans, so there's no way to like really quickly do a mission there. Okay, well, sometimes there is. Usually it takes a bit though, and uh, you gotta wait for them to need help with something. Alternatively, which is what this might be, you charge on in forcefully. No, they're actually asking for help. Okay. Big coincidence. Usually, if I, like, engage a mission with these areas, it's more of, like, the forceful approach rather than asking, like, hey, do you need help? Hmm. Uh, escort a group of civilians to a safe area while their troops hold off a mutant attack. Okay. We will be starting with civilians to escort. They will be following the soldier on the furthest to the right, which will be Gambit, who actually, looking at their levels here, we're ready for a level up. What do we want to do with people? Uh, what are you naturally okay at? Like, Rogue's kind of already doing doctor stuff, so like, do you, what, do you want to be our doctor, baby? We could get you prepped for it. You need good dexterity and average agility still. We can give you that average agility. It'll improve your throwing to average and speed to average. It'll work a little bit on dodge, close range, rifles. Or your decks. Skit. Completely fucking standard. Hmm. Good try it. Is there anybody else who's like a bit better off? You need all three stats still. Hmm. Ove only needs intelligence. Good intelligence, but only needs intelligence for that. <sighs> Maybe. Awful perception. I think we'll be improving that first off. I need you to be able to spot things. <laughs> Anybody else awful anywhere? Awful dexterity. Yeah, I'm gonna... Well, hmm. Yeah, no. Let's let's make sure people aren't awful anywhere. 
Let's do that first off. Rather than go for a specialty straight away. Not sure what to do with Rogue. I guess Willpower is always a cool thing. Willpower just generally helps out with long range and stuff and, and Psy Power, which doesn't really do anything for you because you're not capable. But it does also give you some hit points. And I think it'll eventually start giving you enemy skill too, which in this game is, again, just like generic damage dealt to the enemy. That might just be intelligence though. Just need a bit of dexterity for technician. Very good dexterity needed, but... Mines and other deployable equipment? Hmm. Maybe? Could fuck around with that a little bit. I never have. Very good agility needed for commando. You specialize commando weapons in combat. Stalker. Ranger. Gunman. And then those you're not really capable of. No, no, no. You're like equally far away from everything. We could try for technician though, if you have better dexterity. You're just average with every weapon imaginable. Okay, so that's that. We've got no more magnums, no more really anything fancy. Okay, launch mission. Pretty much a blank slate. Yeah, we could do anything with you. Mold you. Again. Big red arrow indicating that this is the dude that they're all following. This is the dudes that are doing the following. I can't control them. They just kind of uh, do whatever for better or worse. Evac is quite often in the opposite corner of the map. So there's no super Ready, duper sir. easy cool guy way through. Right, you again. just have to Heading out. work your way Here up I and out. Again. Oh yeah. I'll do this too. Except with Luffler and Rogue, yes, because sir. your weapons are really short range, you need every bit of accuracy you can get. On my way. That's no good. Which way? Hmm. Ready, sir. Moving out. They got a bit stuck because what? of all the How civilians. The yeah, they're really me. fucking your pathing. I know. Yes, sir. They're terrible. Yeah, yeah, I'm going. Look out. Muckstar. Ready, sir. What? Yes, sir. Ready, sir. Yes, uh, sir. Again? I guess I can put you on single fire. Again? What? What? I see one. God, there's a couple. What now? Again? What? What? Whoa. Aborting. Ready, sir. What? Still on like super yes, speed sir. over here. Again. There's one. Okay, you see a moral man. That's a little more scary. Orders, Commander. Right. Here we go. Targeting enemy. Not a mod that changed his voice line to those of King of Rito in this game as well. Really, just every game. Hello? Here I go again. Maybe, maybe if we all shoot, maybe what? if this fucking local human wouldn't stand yeah, in our way, yeah. we could line up a shot. I've got it. Seriously, dude. Again? <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> my attack yes, sir? Is screwed. Abort oh my god. Damn. He's no gone. problem. Here, talk to yourself a bit. Good to go. Oh. Um, right. He had seen us. Mm. Ow. On my way. Let's try running. What? Yes, sir. Let's try running with everybody. What? Except you, Gambit, since you're clogging everybody up with everything. Oof. Yes, sir. That damage. Moving out. It's a really nasty dot that stacks. There's like actually nothing you can do about it. Ready, sir. So he's knocked out. We'll have to doctor what? him up with Rogue when we can. Again? And now Gambit can get out. Again? Well, I can't go there. He's gone. What next? 
Oh, oh. Here comes trouble. Oh, where? What? The? How do you? Okay. I don't. I don't know how you see the flat stairway over there. Again? Oh my God, local human! Fuck off, dude. Orders, Holy shit! They're so yes, in the way. What? Okay, he's Good pulling out a gun now. Ove. Yes, sir. Good to Ove. go. Orders, command. Yes, sir. <laughs> Can't move anywhere. On my way. Yes, sir. Rogue, let me go. Rogue's like holding you down. Oh hell! Again? Where'd he go? Again? Here I go again. Kia! What? Scare him off, Luffler. What? Ready, sir? Sure. Again? All right, go back to doctoring. Yes, sir? Back to doctoring. Go back to doctoring. Go back to doctoring. No Local human. Right. Here we go. Good <laughs> Holy go. shit, Ove is like so close to death. Ove. Ove, get out of here. You get to go Moving home, out. Ove. There's something blocking my way. I know. The local humans are so in the way. They're not moving anymore, though. It's fine. Where even is Evac? Oh, right. Yeah, Evac's up there. We don't way. have our little baldy again anymore. Okay. Normally, I could, like, Ready, run sir. them back to the little drop pod thing, and it's okay. Sure. They could just hang out there. Ready. Good to go. 13 health you've got left out of 800. Holy shit. Yes, sir. Oh, hell. These local go? humans. What? Here I go again. Orders, Commander? Yes, sir. Like, I can't, I can't move Tough anywhere without them being Tough in the way. Heading out. <laughs> again? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Orders, Gabbit, Commander? control your sheep. What? Here I go again. What now? Just, uh... Yes, sir? Hang out here, maybe with Again. Rogue. Look out. Yeah, yeah, I think I'm we're going. gonna just... What? Do the thing of, uh... Just haul what? ass there. Here I go again. And get the mission done. Great. Here comes trouble. I don't know where the oh brain man. I don't know where the moral man went. Incoming. What now? What now? Come on, local humans, let's go. Oof. That was nasty. That was really fucking gross. But hey, you get to see how powerful moral men actually are. Six days, seventeen hours to heal. Oof da. So uh now what's the word? They need still some more help, some reticulants. Okay. I need more people though, I think, right? Yeah, always gonna be out for quite some time. Five days and two more hours. Take your stuff off. So, let's get another person. Head into the Diplomacy tab. We only know the one person. We can ask for materials, a specific material. This will reset us back to default, though. So, uh, really don't want to do that unless you really have to. You can also send the materials if you've got a big surplus for obviously a bit of a boost. But I need people. People cost things, but they don't have like a maintenance cost, and I can at any time like return out and re-ask for people and just like get different ones if, if I'm looking for something in particular. Not really looking for anything in particular though, although you are very good with rifles. Awful medical though. The dude can't even apply an adhesive. I'll take Ralph. And, uh, oops. 
and I accidentally took whoever that was. Because I double clicked on them. Ahem. <clears throat> I wonder if they're any good. Francois. Uh, totally average. It's another rogue, basically. Okay. Yeah, fine. So, let's grab a couple names from chat, then. An axe? Um, any of them good for axe? Ooh, actually, Ralph would... Ralph would make an okay axe. Very good dodge, very good speed right off the bat. Pulse range, good. Awful intelligence, X. All those dude is is just agility. We could try it. We'll go for X. We'll try it. God help us. <laughs> it's just a guy with a knife. <laughs> okay. So, what name we're choosing then? It's Ezra Die. Yeah, how many people do we think I'll have in total? Uh, like a, a dozen? Dozen and a half? Two dozen would be very surprising. But you never know. Shit can go wrong. Kinda fast. Uh, I'll give you... I guess a, a rifle, because I really need just ranged attacks. It's like... These weapons are cool and all, but, like, we need the range. Range 9.5, 74% accuracy. If your burst fire at 7.95 range. The yellow numbers there, the plus zero as it is currently, is because of your skill. If you've got a really high skill, you get bonuses to that stuff, and it tells you right there. Just 20 range on the Desert Eagle, but only 55 accuracy. Whereas... The reticulin laser rifle, 30 range with 73 accuracy. And the pistol, 20 range, 70 accuracy. It's just so much longer, these things. They're fantastic. Damage per second is uh, obviously less than the shotgun, but you gotta be so close for this. Just again, though, we don't have that many power cells, so we gotta be careful with the... I will give you also a rifle. Let's just blow through the ammo, I guess. Oh. A uh, person I rescue will join the team once we reach their position, so we must preserve a free slot for them. So let's take out... We can take out Axe. That's right. Maybe after this mission, they will join me. That'd be nice. Ready, sir. So where are they at? Somewhere over here. Looks like inside this building. Okay. Yes, sir. Actually, maybe we just stay single fire. Orders, Commander. Yes, sir. Right. Here we go. Orders, Commander. On my way. Is some folks still a bit injured from their previous mission? Man, Ezra Dai, you're quick. Look at you leading the pack. <laughs> yes, sir. Jesus. Yes, sir. There's one. What now? All right. Ready, sir. Heading Try out. Good again. to go. Did he see you? I think he saw you. Moving out. Again? That's no good. What? Which way? Hmm. Right. Yeah, yeah, I'm going. Yes, sir. What? Yes, sir. Son of a. Good to go. Again? Shotguns. So bad. Here I go <laughs> Jesus, again. the range is garbage. Again? 
beginning of the game is a little bit rough because of that. But once you start getting like proper human weapons, it's a lot nicer because you can make rifles that actually have a bit of range. You see one? Oh. You see one. What? Yeah, yeah, I see him. Ready, sir. What? Again? Again? Yeah, yeah, I'm going. Kia! Yeah, I see him. Surprise! Groove. Aborting. Good to go. Kiss him goodbye. Here I go again. Let's run Leffler inside also. Ready, sir. Get to the civilian. Because they can maybe help me out. Sometimes it fucking help combat again. capable. What? Do I have to get them all? Like hell I got him. They are in here, right? Oh, okay, yeah. Hell. Where'd he go? Hello, local human. You are a really fucking proper medic. This is a medic third level. First level, they can use advanced med kits and also heal stun. Second level, they get a medical bonus and can cure special mal maladies. And medical third level, they can heal permanent damage. I think you've also got... You've also already got a permanent med or uh, advanced med kit. Holy shit! Yes, please help me out. Yes, sir. Heading yeah, out. Yeah, what a I'm cool going. dude to rescue! Here they come. Okay, I'm not sure how the healing permanent damage works. Maybe because you came into the mission already Ready. that damaged. Again. I don't know Here how I it works, again. actually. I never had a medic good that was go. so good to do that. Orders, Commander. What? Yeah, yes, yeah, sir? I'm going. What now? Yeah, yeah, I'm going. What? What now? Just to be sure we get the stuff. Again? Ah, he's dead. What? Such a process picking again. stuff up. Ready, sir. On my way. Yes, sir. Moving out. Good to go. Yes, sir. We should automatically get right. it. I'm just a bit paranoid. Go. What is that? I think that's just a rock. Heading out. Go, local human, go! Yes, sir. Good to go. Ready, sir. Yes, sir. Hey, I don't the man. Ready, sir. Welcome, welcome. Yeah, yeah, I'm going. Ready. As long as you get into the little drop pod, we'll be all right. The music of this game is fantastic. It really is very, very good. Oh, whoops. Five cells, four pistols, 71% hit chance. Leffler was the best shooter. Also the worst injured. Shotgun woes. Fucking still, you kidding me? Come on. What do you want from me? Combat aggressive reticulans. <sighs> Jesus. So fucking much I gotta do for them. Uh, escort a group to the... whatever. All right. X, let's go. Holy shit. <laughs> They're so needy, these people. All right, Ready. X, stay put. Here I go again. Again? Here I go again. Orders, Commander? What? Yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. On my way. <laughs> Keep up, local what humans. Okay, uh... <laughs> Jesus. Yes, <sir>. Right. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> He's so much faster than them. Yeah, yeah. I'm going. <laughs> oh, um. Here I go 
Ooh. again. Good to go. Kiss him goodbye. What? What now? Yes, sir. Targeting enemy. I was going to jump around the corner at him, but... Again? Yeah, yeah. I'm going. Orders, Commander? Yes, sir? What? Yes, sir? What? What now? Yeah, yeah. I Chop see him up, Axe. I see one. Good Holy to go. shit. That's where that's getting lit up. Oh, that's why. There's many over there. Yes, sir. Ready, uh, sir. Yeah, yeah, I'm going. Ready. This guy dead yet? Okay. Here I go again. So let's hide this fucking tree. And also, can I not rip the camera around whenever things happen? Thanks. If a unit's killed, sure. But otherwise, like, I don't really give a fuck. Okay. Yes, sir. Oof, you're a bit slow. Orders, but Commander. Here I go again. Keep going. My key binding's fucked up. That's why. I go run and pause. Yeah. The run things. Don't fucking work. I don't know what those do. Please reset. That's annoying. There we are. He's gone. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. Keep going. Him. Ready, sir. There's one. Yes, sir. What? Orders come. Don't attack the ground. Keep going. Jesus. Yes, sir. What now? Whatever. Uh, Orders, let's... Commander? What now? What? Do a little switcheroo here. Kick ass. What? What? Do yes, I have sir? to get them all? The rope man? down there. Axe, run what? around to this guy. Do I have to get them all? Yeah, yeah. Stab. Go. Gotta be kidding the boss. Yes, spooked them off, Axe. Well done. Yes, sir. Ready, sir. <laughs> ow, 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 ow. Limping away. Yeah, yeah, I'm Man, I know that pain. On my way. Early game's still damn hard in this game. It really is. It's uh it's tough as hell, because you're just so limited. Okay, now we finally got the region. Yay, and they have another base thing, which is kind of cool. So we can, like, build it up and stuff. But we cannot currently build it up, because we need to add it to our network, it quotes, which would involve putting down tracks. Um, I think I'm going to wait to do that, though because there's not a whole lot of reason to have... Not a whole lot of reason to have another base right yet. Yeah, I think I'll wait on it. Meanwhile, still waiting on the mission to pop over here. In the unknown zone. There could be anything over there. Second base, when I notice that you cannot construct any buildings here at the moment, the reason for this is that the new base is not connected to the grid. First base is the main base, it serves as the hub for all the planet side operations, and acts as a clearing house for all your resources. In order for it to function, other bases must be connected to it via tracks. Yep. Which I'm not currently putting down. Ah, finally. Uh, roving bands of mutants, uninhabited. If we can drive them out, strategic resources are ours for the taking. It's got another mine in it. But I think this will be outside of our, like, actual territory. So, we might actually have to track to this mine to get it. 
Uh, mutant presence, relatively sparse, full scale search and destroy is unnecessary. Take the opportunity to capture one live. Mm-hmm. So taking things live in this game is quite a bit different than, uh, than Aftermath. Aftermath, it was basically just luck and chance and, oh god, I hope we can do it. Oftentimes you just delegate it for the locals to do though, because it's not worth the it's not worth the struggle. In this game, it's a bit easier just to knock stuff out because you don't do quite so much damage, especially early on. Um, really, just have the one medic, huh? All right. So rogue will have to be ready with the medical stuff then. It'll tell us which dude in specific to capture. It'll probably be a moral man. Ready, sir. We'll go burst and fast shot too. Yes, sir. Orders, commander. We Ready. just gotta go. just gotta find them. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. There are also specific right, weapons for uh, knocking them out easier. Good to uh, go. Warp, I think. Ready, sir. Or Sonic, rather. Yes, I think is all about knocking Orders, them out. Heading out. There's also some Psy right. weapons that can do it. Wow, that Muckstar was like yes, so ready for you. Right. Here we go. He's going to be a, a camping jerk. Again. Here I go what? again. Good to go. Yes, sir. Orders, Commander. Attack aboard. That's attack not is screwed. Aborting. Yeah, yeah. I'm going. Anything else? See if I can just like pull them around the corner and Here ambush them. go again. That's a pretty effective strat, generally. A brain man? You can that probably just stab here. that. Yeah, yeah, I see. Great. Ow. Here comes trouble. Holy shit. Okay. Axe might be yes, dead. Sir? So apparently that's what brain men do. They just fucking claw you. Yeah, yeah, I see him. I've always just one shot them with everything. Yeah, Axe is dead. That's enough. Damn. Orders, Commander? Just shot dead by... And yeah, it's a moral moment that we need. Here they come. It almost always is. <laughs> yes, sir. Alright. Uh, still just unconscious. Ready, sir. Well, start shooting. Don't let it spit at you. Yes, sir. Broke, look out. Okay, that's unconscious. Ready, sir. The benefit of it charging yes, us, the way to get specifically the dudes that you need to capture, it doesn't work with anything else, but the way to like get them on your team is to knock them out and then be in close vicinity when they're ready to get back up. Um, once that's done, you see them down here and we can like kind of treat them and see how much time we've got to get them back up and Good stuff. Go. We got to get it healthy and Kid get it back to what? the drop to pod thing. I see what? Okay. That shouldn't be too bad to do. Also just unconscious. Ready. You guys are terrible at killing uh, things with these guns. <laughs> oh, they're so bad. I will. Good to go. Yeah, and that's... Yes, that's just taking pot shots. Zero percent chance. Sure. Are you even healing this guy, Rogue? Hello? Heading out. No problem. Yes, Is your medical skill what? just that bad? Yeah, yeah, Maybe. I see. Run, Moralman, run! Ah. Attack aborted, orders, Commander. As Rogue slowly turns, like, wait, I need to heal you. Yes, sir. Right. Moving out. Here we go. Again. Um. 
Do I Orders need to? Commander. Can I even? Yeah, I'm not yeah. sure. Going. What? What? Good Do to I go. Have to get them all. Yes, sir. What now? For the knife. Okay. Ready. That's all that we've got left. What? The knife. Yes, sir. I go right. again. Unconscious. And we've killed everything, so we are okay. The worst injured. Ezra die. Even more injured than Axe, who died. Womp. Commander, the way I see it, we've got a couple of different ways we can get ourselves involved. We can sit and wait like we've been doing, and just jump in when somebody else. I've for already help. done. When that happens, okay. just follow the red pin on the map. Easy as pie, but not very gutsy, if you don't mind me saying so. If we really want to make an impact, we got to take the initiative, get down to the surface without being asked, and take the battle to the enemy. If you want to take my advice on this, just click the mission button, then select a territory. We'll try to ID a good strategic target, and we'll have the tactical guys come up with a plan to capture it. If the target is outside the established territories down there, we're golden. We go in with guns blazing. If the territory belongs to one of the established human groups, the old humans, the cyborgs, or that weird psionic bunch, then you might want to think twice before attacking. Hitting a target out of the blue in established territory is bound to make the owners unhappy. Yeah, and we've already been doing kind of all of that with like selecting a territory and looking for a mission there. Already on it. So yeah, and since this is in a totally different region, we'd have to build checks to connect it up. And I can't yet build checks here because it just takes some time for the game to let you do that. I'm not fully sure. Or maybe because it's too far away from a base, I might have to build a track. Like, uh... To there first. That might be it. Scoot aside, Laputa. When the line goes like a bright yellow, then the track will be done. And then when the track's done, then I can start building this track, and then we'll be connected. And we're okay. And this mine over here, we're not getting any use out of it because it's not connected to anything. It's not even inside the same region. So, bleh, but I'm not wasting... You use the alien resources over time for the tracks as like a maintenance type thing. I'm not wasting that for a basic mine like that. I know Wankers. I know everything about this game, no worries. Still two factions, technically three. There we go. Now I can track. Hatson has a, has a new chance of her being a real Templar. I don't know, man. I think, uh... I think we just clone Axe, like... That's not an Axe come like without Axe. Don't show me again if somebody's fully wounded. I don't really care that much. What are we researching and stuff? We are researching, right? It's just, it's been a little while. Yeah, okay. Just takes a, a bit longer. Seems like word of our presence is spreading. Now everybody wants our help. We've just received an urgent message from the local leader of the group the human villagers called the Cyborgs. Despite the villagers' obvious dislike for the Cyborg people, we should consider helping them. The more allies we have, the better off we will be in the long run. Mutants, eradicate. It's escorting again. Alright. Holy shit. Gambit and Rogue. Um, We got some level ups to give out. Jesus. Alright. Uh, Leffler leveled up. I'm going to go for... What is it for health? Like strength, I think, right? Hit points, close combat, capacity. 
Speed, close range, dodge, rifles, throwing, mechanical, medical. Okay, willpower is also hit points. Let's do that. And side power, is this also defense? Yeah, that's attack and withstand side attacks. So yeah, let's go for a bit of willpower. You're already good at willpower, so go for a bit of strength, because awful is no bueno. You're... Hmm. You're a bit all over the place. And rogue. Still not sure what to do with you overall. We now have... A good bit of willpower. Okay. That's... Better than nothing. And Leffler! Not quite fully healed, but can come with. So we'll bring it with. What about Dex for Medic? Yeah. Um, health first though. <laughs> Cause, ow. last rifle. So we've pretty much all got reticulum weapons again. The spots 15 and Desert Eagle can just rust. Do not care about them. They are so terrible. God, we're slow too. We're really slow. Our soldiers are shit. <laughs> okay, let's go for it. The biologicals have probably told you all sorts of lies about us. Freaks, they call us. Abominations and monsters. But their vaunted purity does them no good. They live in constant fear of the true monsters the aliens created. I have little personal knowledge of the aliens. I was only a child when they came. But there's a belief among my kind that the alien beings attacked Earth because they wanted to knock out their competition while they could. The aliens created their biomass to make the planet uninhabitable. And they created transgenants to kill the humans. Then they left. Job well done. Or so they thought. We shall prove them wrong. That's also not quite what accurate. You played the first game, you kind of already know about the Reticulans and their little offshoot uh, grouping that they had sent out. Rather, that had sent themselves out. What now? As we delve into the, like the libraries and looking through our old records and stuff yes, like that, Ready, all sir. that research on the Laputa lab will start to learn about all of that and know how it actually went down. Yes, sir. Right. Here we go. God damn it. Again. The civ civilians blocking movement is the most frustrating thing ever because your soldiers just like, duh. And they just cancel Ready, everything. What? Here I go again. Yes, sir. Heading out. What? Here I so go frustrating. Again. Orders, Commander. Look out. Enemy. There's a moral man around the yes, corner. Sir. Ready, sir. Right. Here we go. Yes, sir. On my way. What now? Yes, sir. Again? Oh hell! Where'd he go? Orders, Commander. Kiss him goodbye. Go, go, go! That's not possible. Great. Here comes Good work, trouble. yes, sir. And we. Like hell, I will. You're a brain see man. One. See a brain man. There's a flatster Orders, as well. Commander. What? Good to go. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Zero percent chance to hit Leffler. No problem. Look out. Should probably kneel. Did you just take damage? No, you spotted a thing. Another brain man's coming. 
The brain man cometh. However, we're ready for them. Oh hell. Where'd he go? Spotted one. Yes, sir. Again? Put you back on auto. Ready, sir. So you can help against this guy. I see him. Yes, sir. What now? What do I have to get all? What? Good to go. Take the opportunity to commander? kneel. Oi! You son of a bitch. Yes, sir. How are you able to do that? Yes, That's sir. impressive. All right. So cancel Ready, everything. Sir. Let's just out. back out, what? I guess. Damn, he's gone. I think we can. Yeah, we can get up and over like this too. Yeah, yeah, I'm going. Good to go. I am one. Yes, sir. Let's see if it decides to do that as well. What now? Muck stars are very quick, so. What now? What? So we can actually just like straight up yeah, shoot through this thing, it turns out. <laughs> Targeting enemy. I didn't know. I've got him. Ready. Oh, I can't hell. see the target. Where'd what? he go? Here I go again. No way I can do it. It's that. dead. Here they come. Brain man coming around the corner. Oops. What now? What now? What? Yes, sir. To get Targeting Good to go. Go, local cyborg. Go. Orders command. Yeah, yeah, Just I block see. everybody's line of sight, so we have to recommand it all. <laughs> Thanks for gotta that. Be kidding me. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I'm going. Yes, sir. Moving yeah, up. yeah, I'm going. How Great. the hell can Here I do that? Trouble. Yeah, yeah, I see him. Spotted one. My soldiers are so like impatient and rude. What? Here I go again. Enemy lost. What now? Ready. God, you guys are so slow. <laughs> Pick up those yeah, legs. Yeah, I'm going. Yeah. Again. That might be the next thing we work on. What? Just agility and dexterity for yes, everybody, sir? so we move at least an average right. speed. Here we go. We're walking around like we have, uh, like walkers or something. Again? Or canes. Yeah, yeah, I'm going. We do appreciate your help with that nuclear plant, friend. We'll find you some interesting things there for sure. And because you helped us, we shall share what we find. If you require land for your structures, feel free to build them close to our village. I believe that we can form a cooperative bond, your people and mine. Some of my people might even consent to join your forces. Their skills and abilities could be very valuable to you. Which I kind of want to try. Because cyborgs are a lot different than normal people, as you can imagine. Phosphorus grenade, fragmentation grenades, boss 12, and shotgun cartridges. Not bad. Uh, because if I were to grab one of their people, because they are by default cyborgs, they can use cyborg implants. He's only a cyborg first level, but that's okay. Um, somebody like kind of cool would be nice. Not, not these garbage people throwing a mechanical skill. Ideally, no, you're generally just average across the board. That's fine. Awful perception, though. Oof. Yeah, sure. They cost the fancy alloys to get, but we had gotten that cache of like plus 900 earlier, so I'm not too bothered by it. So who's this guy? Thorgan. 
Ishwar. Morgan. A fine name. Eye, body, arms, legs, all these different things that we can give them one day. I currently don't have any. It takes a bit of work to get that. I think they've got their own research lab for the implants and their own manufacturing labs for the implants. And it's a whole other tech tree that you don't really have to get involved with if you don't want to. But uh, they don't wear normal armor. However, because they don't wear normal armor, they they come with armor, which is nice. So they're really tanky early on, which speaking of, we still don't have any suits made up. Ezra die leveled. Ezra die leveled. Oof, you're you're rough, man. You are just pure agility. That is actually all you are. Let's go average dexterity. It's rough. Okay. Found them gimmicky? Nah, they're good. You don't have to deal with them though. You have a proper alloy mine. You, I will go for. Because we're currently losing alloys because of our um, research labs. And since this is now connected up on the uh, on the track and they're connected to HQ, it auto builds a terminal and we can generally just build stuff here as well. Like the uh, ordnance factory I can build it. Stuttgart, actually. May as well. Then you've got a bit of everything there. Grenades and explosives. We don't need... Don't really need a whole lot of those, actually. Just really the one. Uh, basic weapon factory that's making... Yeah, armors and stuff. I... Will build a couple more of these. A few more of these. A few more of these. Then I guess I'll build another lab too, why not? Okay. I might actually demolish one of those. Because now that I've got cyborg dudes, build a puta lab. Basic Implant Lab Floor Plan. Laboratories for the study of basic cyborg implants. We'll queue that up. Because I'm interested. Psionic medics. Oof. <laughs> the psionics are really good. I think the psionics are probably like the default thing for people to go into, especially since through uh, the third faction you can get a lot of the basic starting gear for psionics. Cyborgs do take a bit of work, but they're useful. Our intervention on behalf of the cyborgs was a spectacular success. We've managed to win ourselves some new allies. This is definitely to our advantage. The cyborgs can provide us with a new resource that we can use in our building and manufacturing efforts. The cyborg technology has opened new avenues of research that we couldn't even dream of until now. Mm-hmm. Already on it. Yep, yeah. and if you're wondering, since I'm already looking for a mission here, I can't look for a mission elsewhere. Unless it's apparently a zone that's already got interest in us, then apparently we can. Hmm. Yeah, basic research available, carry on, already know about it, basic implant lab floor plan. Already know about it. Carry on. Now we're getting a profit of plus one. Oh. Ooh, hello. Center and pause. Aggressive reticulans in the area. An extraction operation again. All right. Man, everybody just needs to be moved around. We need like a cool taxi service as well. We need. It is a go there and get them out thing. So let's have Leffler sit this one out. We can bring Thorgan along with, who's kind of for whatever. A longer range on the Spouse 12 for a bit more accuracy. We can 
Try it. Notice their belt. Smaller. Smaller backpack as well. Pretty sure I am the cool taxi service. <sighs> All right. You laugh, but the Laput would make for a great taxi cab. Right? Let's beam some dudes. I've been doing for ammo. Really not good for ammo. All right. I hope the ballistics get finished up fast. Um. Have a laser or a reticulum rifle. So three rifles, the one med kit. You're also good medical. You can have a have a med kit as well. Has to go into your backpack though. And we still have nope, we have a light armor done finally. Thank fuck for that. Rogue, there you go. Ah, protection. It kinda sorta compares a little bit to this one. 22, 16, 28, 30. 22, 3, 23, 10. It's comparable ish. Cyborg screams heavy weapons guy to you. You can do that, yeah. Um, like this guy's already got good mechanical skill because they're just inherent traits that they start with. It tends to kind of sort of favor that. Um, the alternative is really perceptive cyborgs you can also get, and you can get like really fancy eye augments and all that, and you can see people that you otherwise shouldn't be able to see. Effectively wall hacks, it's awesome. I like it a lot. Psyonix can also do that though too, there's this Psy vision thing going on and all that. Let's start in the middle. That way wherever this person is we can quickly get to them and get them out. They are in... Whatever that is. They're basically like right Ready. there though. Who's you need something? Fastest. Good to go. Ready, sir. Ezra die. Right. Ready. Ezra die. All Run! A lot of these missions you can just really quickly do with a fast character. Absolutely going to be doing that. There are the hell? So many Good missions that you do in this game. Also just first level. I'm curious on the other ones. I assume just higher level implants, but does it come with anything else? Cool, nice snatch and grab, only 100 experience, so that's the downside. The ball, the little golf ball, is our, uh, it's our drop pot that we shoot out from the Laputa. You don't like it. Oops. Ah, pause. What's this guy? Combat some reticulins for the cyborgs. What is this area? Also cyborgs. Ooh, they've got a fancy alloy mine. Okay. Oh. They've stubbornly refused our help. If we really want to take control of the region, we can take it by force. Unfortunately, this won't exactly make the locals cooperative next time we need to deal with them. Intelligence reports have identified our most vocal opponent in the community. Our mission is to go in and capture this individual and take him to the extraction area. I'm not doing that. I don't feel like fighting cyborgs, because it's going to be a lot of cyborgs, and one of them is the VIP to knock out and bring back. Knocking them out, no problem, because of how tanky they are, but they're not going to be fun to fight. We're going to refuse that mission, and uh, we'll look elsewhere. <laughs> we'll move on. Um, over here, perhaps. This guy, though. Locate and terminate reticulans. Sure. Go in there and beat them up. And that's talking about implants, I already know about it. Not that we have any implants to really give. I would like to bring Leffler, but do I have... Do I have anything for you? I mean, you could bring a phosphorus grenade, I suppose. Filled with sticky, highly flammable phosphorus that spreads across weapons blast radius upon detonation, setting a swath of ground and any targets unlucky enough to be in the area of the explosion on fire. Ordnance factories can manufacture phosphorus grenades. No special training required. 
We have 20 reticulin laser pistols? Wow, I wish I had that much ammo. <sighs> That'd be really cool to have. I guess you can also have a sh shotgun. It's just boss 15 though. Maybe a Desert Eagle instead. Its accuracy is so shit, though. But, like, I really don't have... I really don't have the ammo to be using the Reticulin Laser stuff for much longer. I hope we can get human weapons done soon. <laughs> 46 years after the aliens came with their magic come. Um... I don't... I don't think that's how the story went. Um, maybe if you ask the psionics. I'm curious what their take on the whole situation is. So this was killing them, right? Yeah, eliminate a sufficient number. So, let's find a cool spot to hang out. Ready, sir. Also, go fast fire. Uh, yeah, except you guys. Ah! Something to know with the Spas 12. It doesn't have that uh, yes, burst fire. On my way. But I feel like... I feel like the weapon range is the most important Ready. thing for us. This is a pretty Moving nice area out. to hang out. On my way. Ready, sir. It's also nighttime, which uh, kind of sucks for Here visibility. I Here I go again. Yeah, yeah, I'm going. going. Moving out. Make sure we're definitely clear over here. I don't want to On take any way. chances. Moving out. And also down here. On my way. Son of a Ooh. Okay. Yes, sir. We got one. Again? Yeah, yes, yeah. Sir. I guess I you can just shoot him from up here. This is a pretty good chance to hit, right. actually. Go. You need something? Not too bad. Again? Yeah, yeah. Is Holy Boy. shit! Okay. Good to go. Ezra, die. Single shot mode. Step up. Kneel and start shooting. Yes. Oregon blast him. Leffler blast him. Gambit. Come over. Work on the guy in the back. Rogue, work on the center one. Slow motion. Go. Oof. Well done so far. Sound like somebody just got pegged with a kinetic weapon. My I think I heard a ri aborting. a ridiculous though yes, get sir. hit. Again? Hey, don't you try running over there? Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. Ready, sir. Stop shooting. I'm here. What? Maybe oh, Leffler while going. kneeling. Attack I tell I will. Not really. Okay. Yes, sir. Esmodar, watch our flank. Yes, sir. Rogue. Heading out. You too. Again? Ah, he died. He bled out. Yes, on my way. Look out. What? 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 I'm here. Here I go. Orders, Commander. That's not possible. Screwed. Deleted. Anyone else? Good to go. On my way. Moving out. Second of the series, On yes. After math, after shock, after light. Ah, what the? 
What now? How do we I miss you? Him. Yes, sir. I've got him. Look out. Ready. Moving out. Oh, no no can do. Screwed. Aborting. Again. Hmm. I guess take an what? aim shot. Nine percent chance. Oh boy. Yes. You've Orders got no commander. hope. Targeting enemy. Good to go. Attack He's what? too far away now. I don't see On that. My way. He's spooked. Oh, hell. Damn, Where'd he go? God, her vision sucks so bad. Ezra died. Yes, sir. Poor observation. There's one. Oh. Kick ass. Kiss him goodbye. What the? First fire, hello. There you go. Are you kidding? <laughs> Damn, he's gone. Heads up. Kiss him goodbye. Didn't even have the chance to react to you. Okay, that was a pretty good amount of reticulants. Seven power cells for it, though. Mm, a much needed resupply. But yeah, a lot of the time you can just uh, sort of ambush the enemy. By the time they realize you're there and have a chance to react, if you're on like the fast fire mode, you can just like blast them a few times in the face. And if you do enough damage, they fall over. It's a bit odd doing it that way. I'm not really the biggest fan of it, but uh, it is what it is. Later on, enemies will punish us for grouping up together and hanging out around the corner. So it's really just for the start of the game, which you need any help that you can get, really. Hostile mutants now. Really? All right. Well, looks like we got a rank up available for folks. Give you that agility. Give you a touch of perception, because holy shit. Give you a touch of intelligence. You haven't leveled. What do I do with you? Dexterity and agility. What helps more now? Dodge, speed? Stealth, yeah. Dodge and speed. We're all healthy enough. Yeah, it looks okay. So since we have more rifles again. And also ammo to accompany it. We can go back to actually doing damage. Oh, wait. Didn't we get a few rifles? I guess just a ton of pistols. Hmm. Well. Uh, yeah, I guess it still done. Hmm. Womp. And no more armor yet. Leffler could be a sniper later on? Yeah, I'd like to get a nice mix of people in. Um... Like I said yesterday at the end of XCOM 2, it gets to a point where you learn how to make rifles and you can just give everybody just a nice, decent, long-range rifle. And it works well enough for all circumstances and you don't need to worry about any other equipment. And you just burst fire with everybody then. I don't really want to do that though. I want to try to spice it up a little bit and have like kind of a sniper and all that stuff going on. Could like, uh, like maybe even set up bombs and traps and all that. So, what was this? You just kill. All right. Ready, sir. First fire. Aim Again? fast. Leffler, yes, I think sir. I keep you on single fire. On my way. Right. And. On my way. As far as places to hang out, out. is up here okay? <laughs> Not so sure on the. Right. Moving out. Here we go. I see How would you have a 1% chance of hitting Thorgrim, Luffler? Oh, well. 
Burn. <laughs> Again? Destroyed. What? I'm here. What now? Yeah, yeah, I'm going. Indoor sections are only an aftermath. There are there are indoor areas, yes. What? Order There's also multi-part missions. Heading out. Again. It's maybe too Order early now. for the game to give yes, us those. Yes. Which sure. okay. I'm, I'm okay Commander. with. What? Ready. I'm afraid not. What? Here I go again. What now? Also, doctor yourself a bit. Good to go. On my way. You need something? I believe I hear them. Yes, sir. What now? It's Ready, a moral sir. man. I see him. Da 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 da. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've uh, the attack. take a lot of punishment Again? though. We'll just Ready. play it kind of safe and wait. Yes, on my way. Yes, sir. Right. Again? Here we go. Yeah. I'll keep yeah, Gambit a little going. bit fluid. He can be kind of in the middle of it all. The man is very horny today. My god. <laughs> are, you, are you doing okay, sir? Should I play some files, maybe? Alright, that's looking like Commander? we're clear here for now. Heading into out. the into the greenhouse. Right. Here we go. Good to go. Oh, yeah, you guys don't need to crouch by the wall. You can Go back right to standing on. and stuff. Yes, sir. Ready, sir. That seems okay here. Heading out. Uni is blue balling you? What well, like it's what? teasing you? What and now? then just like fucking yeah, aborts yeah, real quick? Going. I don't think Uni's blue balling you. Ready, on my way. Yes, sir. Again? Good to go. I like how some of these folks are slow enough hey, that they're really one. just doing like a half-assed walk. <laughs> they're just like kind of power walking around a little bit almost. Orders, Commander. What? Here I go again. Good to go. Amusing, but also a little bit distressing. Did you actually what not now? see me? Kidding me? Now he's out of range. Attack aborted. Ready. Okay. That wasn't so bad. Oh my God, an Uzi. It's dog shit, though. Don't get too excited. Two frag grenades. And three reticulant power cells. Interesting. And now we got the zone. Okay. It also... can be a base location. Um, not currently worth it, though, I think. I'm going to wait on that. It's getting there. 24 hours still on basic weapon labs. We're making more basic weapon labs, right? I think Stockholm was in the middle of it. I, th I thought. Oh, Riga. Yes. They're working on it. Factories, though. Not so much labs. Hmm. Cancel that. Let's get another lab in here. And that might be enough labs for a little bit. How we got access to the flying base? We stole it. Kind of what the tutorial mission is a little bit. Important by it. Molded by it, yeah. Uh, uh, 
progress has allowed us to research energy weapons? What? We've... That's always... Surely. I think that's always been available. Energy weapon lab floor plan. And then through that, energy weapon... I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Moving on. <laughs> Basic weapon lab. Okay, cool. So now if I were to go into research, it should be a bit faster. 14 hours now. Okay. And then if I were to have another one built, it might just be down to like 9 hours. But again, you get kind of diminishing returns for this sort of stuff. Don't really want to have too many of them, especially since they drain resources while active. And there's ordnance factory and two basic weapon factories. So then... Manufacturer-wise, in the ordnance factory, we don't know how to build anything yet. But basic weapons, we're working on the armors and health switch. Not much longer. Another, another day for all of the armor, I think that is. Yeah, for all of the armor. And then we can start working on helmets. The yellow line is a track. Um, it's like a logistics highway, basically. It allows bases to be connected together so I can build them up. Areas that have a mine, I can uh, I can build a track to access that a bit easier. Like this guy up here, I could build a track to connect, but it's not really worth the maintenance cost to have a track just for 31 of the most bare bones basic resource. At least, not to me currently. This seems to be worthwhile though, because that's a fancier alloy, so that's a little bit rarer. We've completed a cursory check of the local library records, and we've already learned a number of interesting facts. Our old Laputa and this one have a lot in common. The water and air reclamation system, propulsion, and even the auto-destruct device are virtually identical on the two vessels. One major difference is this Laputa's landing craft. This is a welcome addition that should come in quite handy. Everything is operated via icon-based interfaces. Most of the icons and glyphs are familiar to us, and those we're not immediately familiar with were fairly easy to translate. It's interesting to note, however, that I love the camera changes. The local library <laughs> reference these new glyphs. We found only a handful of technical manuals, all similar to those on our old Laputa. We've also discovered that some of the records are in our own language. All of these records date from before 2004. The remaining records in the library are in a language totally unfamiliar to us. The glyphs, it seems, are ideal for control systems and simple commands, but records and literature require a more detailed written language. We're fairly certain that all Laputas were built by the same beings, beings who are probably not from Earth. If humans were ever familiar with this language, all such knowledge is long forgotten, as is any clue as to the reason for the aliens' arrival and their reason for being here. One theory we have is that this race of aliens Your and creatures we encountered here upon our arrival, this. the ones our people call potheads, are actually the same race of beings. Although the rundown nature of this place and the pothead's physical and mental weakness seem to refute this theory, we're of the opinion that some calamity befell the aliens and reduced them to their current state. It's important that we continue our study of the alien library. If we ever hope to figure out what's going on, we need to decipher the unfamiliar language and find out what the rest of these records have to say. Yeah, I'm not going to call them potheads. So. Holy crap! How about that one, Central? Thought Prism, thank you. You have my dog to thank for this. She woke me up and here I am now. <laughs> lurky, lurky time. <laughs> thank you for the thousand bits. Very generous of you. Thank you much. Yeah, my dogs would do that too sometimes. Back in, uh... Back in the States, we had three Border Collies, and sometimes they all just, like, together as a troop. I think, I think my parents would, like, egg them on to be like, Go find them! Go get them! And all three of them would haul ass to my room and jump on my bed and be like, Oh, I found them! And wake me up. It was... Nice way to wake up, actually. Just being surrounded by dogs suddenly. There's, there's worse ways to wake up. 
Uh, where are we scanning at? Okay, over here. And hey, Cloud Prism, have a nice lurk. And good morning to you. Laputa Library Analysis. Right, which is what that just was. That little cutscene thing. So then we can look into the basic implant lab floor plan. So we can make the basic implants. Or at least, sorry, research the basic implants in the lab. We can also learn some Urk, uh, Urk, Urk folklore. Or the alien language. Which, as you can see here, if I do the Earth folklore, this will be faster. Not required, though. Currently, Earth folklore is not available, though, because I haven't researched it, obviously. So we could do folklore, then some language, and get it sped up a bit. Could be cool. I kind of want to take a look at the medical floor plan, though, because I'm curious about uh, autopsies. But get the lab done first. Yeah, get the lab done first, I think. Had a border collie back in the day, smartest dog you've ever met. Man, they're great, aren't they? Once you have a dog like that, it's really difficult to have a different dog, because holy shit, like pets become family so easily, but when you get a pet that's so smart, holy shit, there's no going back. And basic weapons still working on that. 13 hours, and then we can work on firearms. Which, I have three labs currently, so it says a day 19 hours, but it should only really take... Ugh, what? 17 hours or something like that? Imagine if we got the flat screen panels by reversing engineering alien weaponry? Hmm. Sonic Cannon teaches us, like, really cool subwoofers. Nice. We can now research Earth folklore, yeah, yeah. Also in the language, yeah, yeah. Already saw it, already on it. You guys still being jerks down here? Yeah. That's just taking it by force. Alright, they'll eventually come around. Eventually. We've picked up a distress call from the human faction known as the Psionics. The human villagers we encountered on our earliest missions described the Psionics as dangerous mutants. But it's probably in our best interest to help everyone who seeks our assistance. <gasps> They've got the dice resources. Center and pause. That's not a mine though, is it? Oh my god, it's a mine. Ooh. Happy days. Okay. Infested by Dangaris roving bands of mutants. Alright. Personnel rescue will join once they reach the position. So it's one of those. So... Oh, Thorgan leveled. Maybe... Maybe learn to see things, perhaps. Or actually be good with rifles, I suppose. Also exactly two more than I need. Perfect. Although I think I'm building another lab, so it might, might balance out. But as long as I've got a way to generate them, then I can power down the labs and we can stockpile a little bit and I don't have to reset our reputation to default by asking for materials. Your cooperation makes all of this possible. Your ongoing compliance is appreciated. Thank you, Karen. Commander, our research into the sonic cannon has led our scientists and engineers to put together what they are calling the dubstep cannon. Oh, can you imagine? It's like something from Saints Row. I think Saints Row had like a like a minigun or something that shot dubstep out. Saints Row 2? Saints Row 3, maybe? One of those. Almost positive of it. Thank you, Karen. I don't know what to give you. Because, like, this guy, it's kind of okay because of the range, right? But the accuracy, though. That accuracy. 40%. Like, yeah, you can see the dude, but your chance to hit is still just absolute garbage. 
effective range is about the same as the Desert Eagle. And that's the big problem with these basic starting weapons that we get. Ugh. Just, ugh. All right, standard deal, I guess. Although, somebody needs to leave. Let's give... Poor Ove, still fucking injured. 127 out of 800. How long are you out for still? Four days, nine hours. Time moves so slow in this game. It's only been like a day and a half. That happened just yesterday he got injured. We're basically playing this in real time. <laughs> hey Valkyrie, thanks for stopping in. Have a good lurk. Enjoy some Minecraft 1.18. It's like six versions further than what I know of. Yeah, let's get, um, let's get Leffler out for a minute. Because you're a bit injured still, right? Yeah. A little bit, not a lot. So we're bringing on four riffles. Let's -a go. 1.18.1, actually. Mm. Oh shit, look at this map. Does look familiar. Does it, does it, does it. We'll embark in front. These maps are kind of a pen in the ass, actually, but... Welcome, visitor from the sky. I am the designated speaker for the Augmented Ones. What happened here 50 years ago? We do not know for sure. Whatever the cause, the biomass appeared and then suddenly died in order to bestow upon us our powers of the mind. Before the death of the biomass, there were no Augmented Ones on all of Earth. This terrible cataclysm served a higher cause to create a better species of human. Mm -hmm. That is a very crashed UFO. Complete with little corridors, ladder rooms, and teleporters around. Hmm. The person that we need is probably right here. I'm here. So, yes, who do we got for speed? Ezra die. You to get go. to do yes, the sir. honors of charging in and getting them out. We will cover you along the way the best we can. Where actually is in? Ah. And is there a side door? Sometimes there's a side door on the wings. Doesn't look like it. Okay, so just the one way in. So, on we'll way. move up. And Ezra Dio will go in and get the dude out. And then they'll run back. Screaming optional. And that'll be the mission. Commander? What? Yes. Yes, sir. Ready, sir. Again? I'm here. Yes, sir. Here we go. I'll have you take Good an actual aimed shot, too. Moving out. There's probably enemies inside the ship. Teleporters are simple. Just move on. And you get teleported. Ready. The downside of the teleporters, though, if one person is standing on the teleporter Move after out. being teleported, another person cannot use the teleporter and they have to move off of it Good and back go. on. Which means that moving an entire squad of people through a teleporter is a bit of a lofty process. Where's... Okay, I'll just have you find it. Go... Go here. Okay, you don't know how to get there. Well... Neither do I. Ah, over here seems to work. Holy shit, what a long run. Does this help, maybe? No. Yes, sir? Well... Yeah, kind of, I guess. <laughs> sure. Yeah, the pathfinding in the UFOs is really... It's not great. 
because they don't know to On take the way. teleporters either. So it's a bit of a crapshoot. Hello, local psionic. Can use first level psionics equipment. First level psionic equipment. Also second level and third. Okay, so nothing really fancy. I'm assuming cyborgs will be the same deal. But you're also a leader. Leader first level with inspiration reduces the effects of psi attacks on nearby alloys. The second level is a group attack bonus. Improve the attack abilities of nearby soldiers. And then leader third gives a hit point bonus and improved observation senses. We gotta get a leader. Those sound cool. Uh, yeah, you need to run back down the ramp into this area. The fuck is this weapon? A proper laser rifle. All right. Never bothered with laser weapons. Mugger and take her hat. I don't think they'd like us very much if we did that. Oh, right. You're like really fancy, right? No, you're not that fancy. Okay. I thought we maybe had side vision. We need to go all, all the way to here. Moving out. On my way. Moving out. I'm not going to mug her. Right. Here I go again. Here we go. Heading out. Way. I see one. Oh, Jesus. Hi, it's a muck star. Yes. Good we to can't go. just outrun those. Yeah, yeah, no, I was looking to do that, but all right, I guess the game had to tell me about it first. Psy vision, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, you can't complete the attack. One of the few different fancy sites that she can use. Ready. Yeah, just keep going. It's fine. Three reticulum power cells we got from that, and it's our zone. And they got the cool mine that I want. Would be really cool to have a track come through here, if these fucking cyborgs would ever give up this low location. But they're being real jerks about this. To take it by force, I'd really like to track through there though. <laughs> Damn it. So this means that we'd have to track up this way, which is so much more annoying. We can turn off tracks eventually, so I guess... I guess if we get the opportunity to, we could track this way still. Eventually. Helping the psionics was definitely the right thing to do. We now have new allies, and we've been invited to build a new base in the psionics territory. Psionic technology has proven to be different to anything we've seen so far. And our scientists are already exploring new avenues of research. Psionics can provide us with new resources that we can use to construct innovative new buildings and equipment. Don't think there's a base here, though. <laughs> I think you're lying to me. Yeah. What a jerk. Yeah, okay, basic weapon lab done now. Cool. So the research ought to be going a bit faster. Seven hours. <sighs> hmm? Who that? Oh, cyborgs. It's a nothing area, but I guess we need to go this way anyway. And then once we get down to the coast, some areas have like shipping routes and all that, so you can access the other continents that way. Uh, it's just some mutants. Okay. I'll move the Laputa. And be right with you. 
Wait a minute. It's a fancy icon. Hmm. Not sure. A uh, person to rescue will join once you reach your position. It's a get a single person out again thing. So now I'll give you a bit of perception. So you can actually spot things. So what do we need for a leader, though? Average, average, very good. You only need very good intelligence. You need the strength and very good intelligence. And Rogue could actually be a leader. He's just a point of intelligence away. Handy, that. We'll get Rogue up as a team leader, then. We'll start in kind of the middle again. Also, this building way over here again. Orders, Commander? Not ideal. On my way. I'm here. Yo, let's retire. Run! Tunk, 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 tunk. Oh, man. Ah, you've got an actual weapon. Yes, sir. On my way. Imagine having like real weapons. Mm. There's one. Moving out. No, not you, Ezra Dye. Local cyborg, keep running. It's just Good a moral man. You cannot run it. I'm, I'm pretty sure. Wait, wait, come back. Uh. Yes, nope. sir. I go. Yes, sir. We're not interested. Orders, commander. Three power cells for that. And they've also got a base thing. It's right next door, so it's not a huge waste of track. I can go for that. Oh, I need to wait a little bit, I think. It's a bit of a weird system sometimes. Because it's not like registered as ours yet because it should be able to track over to this uh, bases and regions do auto collect mines like this mines being auto collected this one's not because it's a different region this should be auto collecting from here so I, I don't really need that track anymore then Initiated a new mission, have we? We have. Cyborgs. Mutants. Enter, provide assistance to local forces. Easy. Strength for a bit of health. Sounds good. God damn it. Dude almost melted. Uh, I'll bring Leffler. Wait, should I bring Leffler? We don't have a proper rifle for you. I won't bring you. Go in the middle. So where's local for there's a bunch of local forces here, man. Orders All right. On my way. Here Good go. deal. It's cyborgs too. Hello, friends. Heading out. Go again. Yeah, yeah, I'm going. Sometimes they got really funny equipment like rocket launchers and such, and they just blow the hell out of whatever's attacking, and you really don't need to do anything. In fact, sometimes by the time you get there, they've already handled it. Right, I go again. Go. Yes, sir. I will have Rogue, I think, help though. 
I mean, Highway. experience I don't what think is, is like individualized. I think we're okay just to like targeting enemy. The experience gets shared, so it doesn't matter who kills stuff. But just in case, I'm gonna have Rogue do Here it because next level he can work on the leadership training, and that'd be really nice. The I would really like that. What the fuck, dude? Get out of the way, local cyborg. Continue attack. Continue attack. Heading out. Continue the attack. Daka daka daka. Man, I want real weapons. That's not possible. Holy shit, what was that sound? Right. Here we go. Rogue has no plan. Hey, Ash! Welcome, welcome. What now? On my way. Yes, sir. Ready, sir. Hmm? Moving out. He sees see something. One. It's a Muckstar. Heading out. Here they come. That's a couple Muckstars. Hey, jackass. What? Can you maybe not? I've aborted the attack. What now? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Everybody, watch out. There's this dude, Ready, this dude is like 1,000% Team Rocket material. Right. Here we go. Good to go. I see one. Run down this way. Hug the wall. Yes, sir. <laughs> Yes, sir. Orders, Commander. I just love healing Heading in the sick out. bay. Here they come. This dude's probably got like awful skill with uh, launchers too. What? Like, you need something? Really has no reason at all to be using this thing. A oh, flatster. No oh, shit. Again? On my way. Everybody dive. Ah. Here I go. <laughs> Where is that going? What? Dude, you are awful with that thing. What? Yeah, yeah, I'm going. Here's another one. Oh! That one would have maybe hit. Alright, yeah, get me out of here. Ugh. Turns out they're the real the real threat. It's 22 hours of heal time we've just added on. <sighs> uh so let's see what's down here since I'm already tracking through. I still can't track you. That's really bizarre. Do you wanna like track down this way? Paris, please. I should probably mission here just to see. Oh, wait. Now we're good. Okay. It did actually just take a while. So, uh... Yeah, we'll build that track and I guess we can then remove that and we won't need it. What is this mission way up here? Another mine up there. Hmm. I mean, I guess it's a mission. What? Why'd you bring it up then? Stubbornly refused our help. Uh, don't think I was looking up there, was I? No, I'm looking down here. Alright. And this is still that as well. No! Ooh! Rolling band of mutants. Locals need help to eradicate them. Haha! -ha. Locate Terminate Mutants. I can do that. Rogue. Have a point of intelligence. You are now capable of getting leadership training, which uh, I'll send you one straight away, actually. Give me your stuff. 
fell off. Oh, you need to heal up first. So I, I guess do that. It's not much healing, though. It's one hour of healing. And Gambit is ready for a level. to stealth. I think commando is like the melee stuff. Like, axe would be a commando. Or would have been. Or agility, good willpower. What what requires a lot of willpower, maybe? Because you've got quite high willpower. Nothing, really. Alright. Well... Maybe work on uh, on sniper. Gambit the sniper. Command is more of a badass subclass. Stalker is melee. I don't know. I mean, stalker's got the knife symbol, so I understand your thinking. But or actually, ranger might be uh, the stabby stabby. Specialized commando weapons. Stealth bonus. Bonus in close combat. No, I'm pretty sure it's commando. I think the katana is a commando weapon at least. And ranger, because uh, I I had a sword guy when I played this solo before the stream, and I went ranger thinking that that was necessary, but it turned out that the katana needed something else. So they were like a bit ranger and a bit commando with also like heroic speed, and basically just a tentacle at that guy. Good stuff. Really powerful. So, Leffler, grats, you can come back on in. Since I've got a rifle available for you. And we've got a bit of armor available too. Two bits of armor. Should be getting a third bit of armor soon as well. Let's launch it. The glossary, you might say, but like... Yet. This is gonna suck. The glossary might say, but like, I'd. Reading though? These are rough. These are really, really rough. This is a two parter. This is going to be run in and get here. And then we go inside the facility and kill stuff. But there's often a awful lot to shit yes, sir. out and about. Let's run. What now? Good to go. Yes. Yes, sir. On my way. You need something? On my way. Out, real quick. Oh, what? <sighs> what? Would you like a brain, man? Let's go auto fire. Yes. Here I go. What now? What? Open yeah, fire. Yeah, yes. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit. What? Yeah, yeah, I see him. Focus on the moral that it's up to no good. Yes. Making trouble in the neighborhood. Yes, or so. Again? Go fast firing too. This is Dead, injured. Again. What? Good to go. Kiss sure. him goodbye. Right. Good to work on him. What? You two on him. Unconscious, what unconscious. Now? I'm here. Uh, keep firing. Attack there we go. What? They're dead. Moroban is visible again. Unconscious what again. Now? Yeah, what yeah, now? I see him. Yes. Ready. Eh. There's one over there. Uh oh. You need something? Good to go. What's it doing? Man, nice just like auto fire that. That was nice. What? Really well alternating their shots. What? Again? What? Take some Do aim shots at his body. 
and you take aim shots at his body. Finish them off. Yes? I'm here. Yes, sir? Okay. We don't have a ton of ammo for this. I can't complete the attack. What hey, now? Dead. What? Leffler. What? Go investigate. Go again. What now? What? A couple grenades and a spas 15. Ugh. All right. Gross. <laughs> but all right. What now? Better than nothing. What? Spas 12. Okay. That's a bit better. Yeah, and you're a bit overburdened like that, actually. Yes. Florigan, come over and grab these Good grenades. To go. What now? I'm here. Yes. Again? What? That is... What? It's still a fresh cell. You don't have a cell anymore. Ready. Nor do you. Need something? What now? So actually drop this again. Good to go. And yes. then Ready. as we die, run over to where Leffler is. Good to go. A little bit of a switch. Again? Ready. Moving out. You can Good see why this part's a bit rough though, and I was a little bit nervous about it. It's a lot of stuff to kill. It's one of the missions where you sort of just have to stand and fight right because you're not going to have an opportunity oh, just to way. run through. Unless everybody is, like, so fast. But you'll yes, still sir. probably get swarmed by muck stars. Right. I think I'll keep you on the yes. auto-fire, though. What? And everybody, fast shot. What now? On my way. Again. I should also look into, at some point, doing the jet propulsion lab. It's really expensive to do. Like, so expensive. But through it, it allows me to increase our squad size. Because you see, there's UI space for three more soldiers. It, uh, it'll take, like, a couple weeks to get all that stuff set up, but... Better sooner than later. Because it's, I think, just one upgrade that you do, and... Then you've got the full squad size available. Can conserve ammo by not shooting on unconscious enemies? Uh, sometimes. Sometimes they just get right back up, though, and you don't want a moral man getting back up. Not a risk I'm willing to take. Again? This is... Ooh, just one floor, though. Okay. What now? I'm here. What? Yes, sir? Moving out. Is anybody yes. really perceptive? Good to go. What now? Yes, sir. What? Okay, Gambit and Luffler. They might well, be able to hear enemies. What next? They might be able to hear enemies through walls, Gambit and Luffler. Yes, sir. What? Or like go again. coming up around the corner or so. Yeah, yeah, I'm going. So you could hang Good out here. Go. Again? And Gambit. Here I go again. Maybe here. here. So if you hear something Look approaching, out. we can maybe handle it. Do a moral one. Yes. Yes, sir. On my way. What now? You need something? Good to go. Yes. Mm -hmm. Can we? What? Yeah, right yeah, I'm going. Yes, sir. All squeeze in here. Maybe. Again?
Yes? I see him. What? Good to go. What now? Yes, sir? Are you kidding? Yeah, okay, you don't have a chance yet. Organs too in the way. Like hell I will. Kiss him goodbye. Attack aborted. You need something? Good to go. Kick ass. Yay. On my way. Uh, yes, sir. Did he have anything? Another spas twelve. Hmm. Moving out. What? Good to go. Thorgan, dude, you you're big, man. You're very big. <laughs> Do you know this? Step up and crouch to here. Sure, and I'll get him. Take yes, some sir. shots. Actually, we should let it get closer. Again. On Everybody again. back out. I don't care about the shotgun yes. enough. No. Thorgan, you too, dude. My way. Listen to my commands, man. Don't be doing this. What? I Good think to go. I lost him. Anyone see him? What now? We're ready. What? <sighs> Again? Yeah, yeah, yes, I sir? see him. Moving out. My attack is screwed. Bam. Aborted. They're very squishy. The muck stars. Yes. Just wait. What now? Here I go again. Ugh. What? All right. I thought R was reload. I don't know what the hell that is. Like, resets my camera back to the start. No, no, no. They are actually really fucking squishy. Um, even like a desert eagle, you can just like two shot them. Muck stars are made of taffy or something. Good to go. On my way. What? Ready. Moving on. Here comes trouble. The moment you Good step up. It. All right, he's coming. Again? Yeah, Ready. yeah, I'm going. I'm here. What? Damn, he's gone. Come here. We hear him. Oh hell. Where'd he go? Again? Yes. What? Good to go. Kia. Okay, uh... What now? Ready. Kiss him goodbye. You gotta be kidding me. Well done. You need something? Press R to reset the mission to the first turn without asking. Yeah, it's the the, the load state button. Awesome. Good to go. On my way. It's so good for safe scumming, I guess. Again? Mm. Yeah, yeah, I'm going. Yes. Here I go. There's one. Aha. Uh -huh. Ready. A brain Heads boy. Up. And another brain boy. Good to go. Moving out. You're not, on like, gonna way. get hella flanked, are you? There's one. Jesus Christ, what's going on in there? Ready. You don't have a grenade. Damn, he's gone. Man, grenade would be pretty okay. I guess take, uh, nice Kick aim ass. shots and... Damn, he's gone. Take him out. They seem a bit stuck or confused. Up. It happens sometimes with the indoor maps. I wish it wouldn't. Heads up. Well, you get it sometimes where they just sort of don't want to do anything and they just hang out. It's unfortunate. It gives me XCOM Apocalypse vibes. Kiss him goodbye. Moving out. Okay, well done. Ezra died with a nice chain kill at the end there. Very good. They're brainstorming. Ah! <laughs> I got it.
I think they I think they can fit through the door because you get it later on with some of the enemies that are introduced later on where they just have a little group meeting inside of like a broom closet and they just I don't know they just don't move anymore man am I glad we got this zone though good stuff so I can go uh Yeah, carry on, hold on. Because you're in the same zone. So I can just scoop you up. Because, like, I could just... I could technically just track you over. And we get this all the same. I think I gotta wait for the track to be built first, and then I can do that. And then this, I can then track up to here and connect, and I can get rid of this track. And there ought to be a base somewhere down here. Grenade blueprints. Here we on. Medium armor blueprints, edge weapon blueprints, barracks, floor plan, firearms. Okay, hold on. A nice research or something completed. Yeah, I gotta fix tracks. Give me a minute. I gotta let them build first before I can uh, undo them. Basic weapons. Firearms I can do now. 11 hours for it. Okay. Basic mine blueprints if I do... Grenade blueprints, it's a bit faster. But I also need a mine for it. We'll see. And you're on cruise control doing stuff. Alright. Manufacture wise, let's make. Let's make a bit of everything. get it going now and then by the time we actually have firearms ready we've already got a bit of ammo immediately for whatever we decide to build and you're finishing up some of the light armor four more hours and the final three suits will be done then we can finally start working on helmets we can also make desert eagle pistols oh <laughs> so so good uh like this track can go and then, when this is settled, that track can go. Is that the one you meant there? Or at least somewhere in this general area? I think that's okay for now. And then, yeah, hopefully we can get it based on here. We can just, like, brink, connect that up, and then we're good to go. S&W 500? There's a lot of guns in this. Maybe? I don't know what that is, but let's go with maybe. Oh, hello. Did I already look at that? Okay, a lot of shit's happening. What is you? Right. You're the stubborn one. We don't care about that. What are you? Mutants, uninhabited. Okay. Back out. It's just for basic materials. I don't really care about it. Holy shit. That drained fast as hell. What happened to my resources suddenly? What the shit? Okay, well, um, hey, friends. I need alien materials. And I need basic materials. 3,508 of it now. 
Damn, we really, uh... Shoot through a shitload. I don't think I overspent on buildings because they don't have any maintenance costs. It's only like 10 or 20 that was to build it. Easy peasy. And I get that the tracks cost more and more. I've played the game before. I know how that works. That's why we're losing 23. I just suddenly lost like 200 though out of nowhere. Hmm. Uh. What's this guy? Just another... Potential whatever we can... Whoops, maybe see about doing that. Hello? And you. The nice fat stash of the basic stuff. And a mind for the fancier stuff. Interested in you. A system in fighting some reticulans. I can do that. Rogue, you ready for training yet? Yes, you are. So you are out now doing training for like five days or something like that? Oh, one day, 12 hours. That's not very long. Okay. I remember it being a lot longer than that. Maybe it's for the fancier ones. It takes more. What to do with you? I'm tempted to give you more observation stuff, but it just seems like such a... Such a waste, because I could have just picked up a sideboard who started with a lot of perception. Intelligence is always an okay default. Could work in improving the rifle skill a bunch too. Yeah, strength and willpower for that for for gunman if you want to make you like a proper heavy. But I don't know. Like armor, I don't think you can do because you work on the the implants. So really, just for the ultra heavy weapons. But I don't know how long it's gonna be until I can get one of those. Guess we can work on it. Starting with willpower, which is a fairly okay first bet anyway. Leadership training consists of going saying what when you skin alien. A point and grunt even. So easy, even rogue could do it. Uh yeah, we're running like out of ammo. Sadness. So we have to see about changing our arsenal for a moment. I can maybe give like one person who's really good with rifles. Nobody's really good with rifles. Okay. So let's go with these Paz 12 then. Assuming we have ammo for that. I think we will. I'll probably give people an extra reload as well. Unless anybody's really terrible with close range? Nah, they're all okay with it. Okay. This might be painful. What were we doing? Right, just get there first. Yeah. Well, on the plus side, this is a nice mission to have shotguns on. Need something? On my way. Yeah, everybody, please. Here I go again. Mock stars, no mocking. I think we got away with it. God, you're all so slow. <laughs> None of you are overburdened Again. somehow, right? What? Ready. What now? Nah, they're all okay. Yes. Again? Alright. Just the one floor again. Very good. What? 
On my way. Again. Ready. There's one. Aha. Hmm? Uh -huh. Reticulants. What now? All right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm going. We're too quick for you. <sighs> Damn, he's gone. Moving out. You need something? Here I Way go. too quick. What now? Can't catch us. I can hear the bastard sneaking what? around. What? Uh. Good to no. go. As we're dying, you're fine. Again? Yeah, yeah, I'm going. Listen, we've got company. I can hear the bastard sneaking around. Oh, hell. Damn, Where'd he he's go? Gone. What? There was quite a few. Yeah, yeah, I see him. Did that get their attention at all? I wonder. Don't think so. Here I go again. All right. Look Let's out. run out and say hi if you can. Yeah, yeah, I'm going. <sighs> oh hell, where'd he go? Here I go again. Great, here comes What's trouble. The... Look out! What? <laughs> Leffler, dude. <laughs> How'd you not see this guy? Eh. <sighs> Dive, dive, dive. Oh hell. Where'd he go? You have good observation even. Yes, That's impressive. You gotta look down at the floor more. <laughs> Great. Here comes trouble. Again? Kiss I him see goodbye. Him. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah, do I, I have see. to get him all? I attack I I will. Aborting. Next. Just turn the dude into paste against this back wall. What? Good to go. How much damage did we even do? 5,338 Leffler with a crit. Leffler shot the one for 1240. Fucking hell. What now? Yes, sir. Look out. Whoa. Yeah, yeah, Good I'm to go. going. Again? Oh. Yeah, yeah, I see him. Oh. I guess what Ready. I could do also is, uh, watch, I think it is. Yeah. Then they already hold yes. their weapon up, and you save yourself, like, a half second of aiming. Because you're already, like, pointing at him. I go again. Yeah, yeah, sure we're I'm actually going. clear. I'll give you a second to really Here analyze the area. It's basically Overwatch with Watch. And then Wade is more like they're ready to move. So if they need to like dart away real quick, like if you're going to wait around the corner to, for a dude to spot you. That's a big gun you've got there, sir. Son of a... <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm going. Again? That's just a rifle. Just looks so big on them. Five more cells, two more rifles, three pistols. Aha! Good show, Leffler. You're probably ready for an upgrade if experience isn't shared fully. Do we have any idea what to do with Leffler? At some point, I would like a medic. Cyborg medic. <laughs> oh, Olve would have been a good medic. <laughs> he's he's in school. Let's say he's he's in uh, 
you know, in preparation for proper medic training. He's uh, like an intern at a hospital. He gets to see how things are done firsthand. Yes. More perception. With vision like that, Luffler must be a sniper. Mm. The Gambit's on track for it. Okay, so we've got that now too, for uh, for a fancy alloy mine. Mutants have this area. What was this mission? Right, that's going to be like a try to med kit a dude. We can see about that. It's shotguns though. I think I wait on it actually. And you too. And you're just killing dudes. We can do that. I'm here. Here I go. Yes. What? Here I go what again. Now? There's one. Good to go. Mm -hmm. Make sure he sees you. On my I think way. He sees you. Okay. What? Again? What now? Yeah. Same deal yeah, as before. Going. With shotguns, I don't really have any better plan than this. What? Yes, sir. Ah. Window. <sighs> well, he definitely sees you. Ah. All right. Again? Luck here, you. What? This corner, this corner is better. What? Yes, sir. Yes. Oh. Here I go. They really Damn. take ballsy Wait, uh, shots. I'm here. Again? Damn, he's gone. What? What now? What? What now? Yeah, what? Luffler can't really take yes. a shot. I see. Good but you go. two can. We don't even really know what it is yet. We're just like, there's a thing there. Ah, it's a moral man. Doing a little bit of hardcore yes, dancing, sir. I think. Kiss him goodbye. Like hell, I will. What? Good to go. Out. Yes, sir. Again. Good to go. Again? Fine. Normal speed, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, you're the boss. What? Good enough. Yes, sir. Oh my god. Again? So slow. What? Anything else out here before we actually go inside proper? Yeah, yeah, I'm going. Here I go again. Yeah, yeah, I'm going. That might just bleed out. A couple extra shotguns into it. Here I go again. Yeah, yeah, I'm going. Soldiers are so rude. You need something? Good to go. Yes, sir? Yes. Good to go. What? What now? Here I go again.
Hate slash love when soldier characters in video games are sassy to the point of grazing and subordination. A nice yeah, way to put yeah, it. Yeah, I'm going. How dare you talk to me? I'm the commander. Hmm, I guess if I have to. Mm, again, really? Go again. <sighs> yeah, yeah, I'm going. What the fuck? Thinking we might actually be clear inside Here, this go warehouse again. now. Which means somewhere just over here is going to be probably like eight brain men or something insane. What? Moving out. Yes, sir. What now? Heads up. Ah, Buckstar. Go. Take that shot. Look out. Hmm? Ah, yeah, brain men. What? Yeah, yeah. There's I'm one. Going. Ready. What now? Good to go. On my way. Kick ass. What? Here I go again. Are you in? Ready. Just injured. Okay, now it's unconscious. What now? Okay, we're good. <laughs> that was a bit odd. I really wanted to have the uh, the unconscious dude tar targeted. So Laputa, stay put in the middle-ish area, I suppose. And then that we've already got. So now we're only losing 17 basic alloys. Really need to find more fancy materials. I'm gonna refuse that mission for now. We can see if we can get a better one later on. And you, Reticulans, happily helping them fight it off too. Sure. It's a fairly safe mission. What these. Now? When they're not using Honor rocket launchers again. and blowing you up anyway. There's one. Uh. Ah, okay, they're actively fighting it. Cool. I think they got laser weapons. Here I go again. I'm here. Ready. Moving out. Yes. Good to go. What now? What? Yes, sir. It'd be very strange just to have one over here. Again? What? Yeah, All right. yeah, I'm going. On my way. Again. Yeah, yeah, I'm going. Moving out. There's one over there. You need something? Just a pistol? Yes. Keep back in the way. Local I'm forces here. will get it. I think I lost most. Anyone see him? Yeah. I don't want to risk yeah. medical bay for 12 All days. I go again. Yes. Look out. Good to go. Yes, uh, sir. Ish. What? Yeah, yeah, I'm going. What now? Yeah, yeah, I see him. Uh, attack aborted. Great. Again. Here comes trouble. Yeah, yeah, I'm going. What? Here I go again. What? Just seems like a combat that you see people who aren't very good at RimWorld do. Where it's just like, group select everybody, yes, just charge, and just like standing together is a big huddle. Uh, it here? just feels so, uh, but, eh. <laughs> eh. 
All right. So, can we... Go for a mission there. You see these tracks here? These are like coastal tracks for boat. I don't think I have to... I think I might actually have to build a track there too, actually. I think. That's a fancy alloy. It's not quite worth it yet. Not quite. Because I'd have to build two tracks there, and that's going to drain a lot of the alien components. But I would get the mines for basic resources. I would do one for training and all that. Probably have a level up, right? Yeah, Gambit a little bit. Gambit who's on track for sniping. Bang. He could go for it. Do I do it though? It'll be a little bit before I get a sniper rifle. So I might hold off on it for the time being. Um, Ezra die. Kinda. I mean, next level, then you can start with medic, and you can be the medic then. And you, we were going with not trooper, though you could get trooper easily. It was uh, gunman, was the one. Very good strength needed. Gotta be a bit. You're still one day, 11 hours. Ove is still up for three days. It feels like it's so long. What was this? Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, we're going to refuse that for now. See if we can get something a bit better. Firearms is finally researched. Oh, so good. So... Now that we know how to do firearms. <laughs> what kind of firearms? <sighs> Shotguns, snipers, submachine guns, assault rifles. Um, definitely want that 22 hours. Machine guns speeds it up. But machine guns gets better from submachine guns and submachine guns gets better from machine guns. So I'm not, I'm not going through all of that for that. And then shotgun blueprints. Mm -hmm. Let's say snipers next. Okay. Okay. The research in this context is reading a book about, given how long it takes. Pretty much, yeah. I assume it's like we have access to a lot of Earth science and stuff like that, and we just need to figure out how the hell it worked. Kinda. Yeah, pistol blueprints as well. Ooh boy. Assault rifle, sniper, submachine gun, machine gun, shotgun. Mm, pistol blueprints. Oh boy. 762 is done. New mission base location too. Psionic zone. This is kind of nice because it's just like base, base, base. Do do do. Pretty nice. Hostile mutants. But I get incas incapacitated, dude. No. Refuse for now. Can't really do a new base right the second anyway. Like, I haven't even built you up. Required knowledge level for the basic implant lab. I guess we did this research a bit ago. Uh, need knowledge level for it though. Knowledge we get from schools and stuff like that. Uh, the first thing that we build I think is a school and you get plus one knowledge you can have multiple of them. But later on there's going to be things like universities that give multiple knowledge 
Knowledges are base specific, they're not shared. Um, knowledge also improves how much stuff you get from resource nodes in the area. So it's generally a really cool thing to do. Like, if I were to find a base that's in this region, I would be able to knowledge the ever loving out of it and uh, get more out of this mine. But I'm not sure if they have a base. I don't know if every region has a base in it. Uh, but if I wanted to do the implants, then that's what we have to do. Also... Okay, yeah, you're not connected up yet. But yeah, like these, the operation cost is so small for these things. Like, I guess just, this just drained over time from the tracks and I wasn't paying attention. Last I looked at it though, I had a few hundred and I was only losing like a dozen. It goes faster than, uh, than you'd think, I guess. Um... It's a big cost. I don't know if I do a whole lot with that right now, really. I might not. This base could do with a bit of knowledge to get some more of the advanced alloys since you're feeding uh, two mines. Ooh, there is a base here. I hope this is in the same region. That'd be really cool. I'd like that a lot. And since we do need knowledge, then I guess we can go ahead and work on library floor plan. Won't take too long. Move it up a little bit. Medical lab will probably take a little bit of uh, knowledge as well. I don't quite remember. Medical lab floor plan. Carry on. Let's take a look. Maybe I can build it. Oof, operation costs. Holy shit. But no, it doesn't need, um... It doesn't need knowledge level at all. A bit of an overview or some context. Um... Well, basically, it's your typical, like, aliens are invading Earth type game. And you're overwhelmed and you... You research technologies and build equipment to better yourself in the battle. And then, you know, as you kill things in, in the missions and you get the equipment, you bring it back home and research it and all that. It's that sort of deal. Um, in this game in particular, we're revisiting Earth and uh, trying to figure out what the heck happened because we were under the impression that Earth was destroyed. But that's, that's the type of game it is. It's like a classic XCOM type deal. Medical lab, medical lab, medical lab. Let's get a medical lab. Let's do it. And then we'll get them some education too. So we can get their their knowledge level up, and maybe they can also build implants for us too. I don't know. We'll see. Post-apocalyptic or mid-invasion? Yes. <laughs> Both of those. New help mission available. Oh, that that guy probably. Hey, the light armor's finally done. So now they're working on the helmets. Finally. All right, nine hours for five helmets. I never did a playthrough of XCOM Apocalypse, no. Um, it was one of those where... Okay, it's escorting people. It's one of those where I wanted to at one time, but when I did a, like a little pre-recording thing for it, I was really annoyed by it. <laughs> and I was like, you know what? It'd be best just to wait for Open Apocalypse. So I'm waiting for Open Apocalypse. Probably get a fifth person recruited. Could like, like I could get a psionic, but they don't really like me very much. I could get a psionic person, but I don't have a, I don't have anything for them. 
<laughs> like if if I recruit one, then I can do like the Laputo lab researches for all that stuff. But like they need the fancy alien alloys, and oh, they're really more of a, a later on thing. Maybe another mutant, maybe like a, or a cyborg rather. Sorry, maybe one who's got quite okay perception to start with. Could be okay. You're hired. And you are the giant Mimir. I think we have to go with just Mimir, though. Oh my god, giant Mimir fits. Oh. <laughs> And we'll get you set up to be just like a super spotter, because your observation's already quite okay. From there, I'm not sure what we do. You can have rifle. Cause yeah, we did we did end up getting a bit of Yeah, your close range is terrible. And shotgun's close range. Yeah. So keep that. We did end up getting a little bit of ammo for the reticulum stuff. So we can give a couple people that again. I'll also give one to Thorgan. There. And good medical as well. And then armor. Ezra die. Rats. And then Ove. And Rogue can also have it. Do you note that the armor does weigh you down a bit? Rogue's already 25% load. Ove, poor Ove, 32% load, just wearing armor in his hospital bed. <sighs> it almost would have been better if you died. <laughs> poor Axe. And you can also get Sniper and Scout. But yeah, I don't have the sniper rifles yet, so not a lot of reason. Was I even able to do this mission with the full squad? Yes. Okay. Cool. Dude's been injured for just fucking ages. Like a five-day injury. He got moral manned. The acid burning. Two stacks of it. He had like, what, 18 out of 800 health left? just barely alive so you he's been he's been healing up for quite a while I'm here get you out that way again? let your goof troop get organized again. there's something blocking my way yeah right, keep trying I know they do that keep trying yes. Ugh, local humans my way. It's so difficult to move with them. Look out. Oh my god. Great. Here comes trouble. Yes, sir. What? You need something Look what out. now? What? Yes. Here I go. I'm here. Good to go. Kiss him goodbye. What now? I'm here. I see him. What now? Giant Premier also. Oh. Ready. Ezra die change target. Go auto. Look out. There's a flatster what? coming. There's one. Yes. Here I go. There's one. Good to go. Mm -hmm. Yes. What? Yeah, yeah, I'm going. He's moved out of my range. Bam. Oh, hell. Where'd he go? Something. Like hell, I will. I see him. He's moved out of Gotta my look range. it in front of these All local humans. Way. Let them know what they're signing up for. Sure. I'll get it. I guess the flat store, uh, flat store ran away. 
go again. Whoa, no, not yes. you. Here I go. What? Let's go. Yes, sir. What now? I'm here. I'm here. I don't know what to think I'm about flatsters. Like they're so low to the ground that they're hard to spot and they don't really take a whole lot of damage. They're really tanky. I ought to do the autopsy to see what the deal is with them. So I know how to fight them. Because it could be that they're just like really well armored. So if I get armor piercing ammo then I can just blast right through them. No problem. Civilians follow you. That's so cool. Do they steal your many guns too? Unfortunately, no. God, I missed that though. That was that was pretty fun. Having civilians just jump onto my ship and take our stuff. Like, ah! <laughs> I'll be taking that! No, wait, civilian! Stop! Good times. Psionics. Help the combat reticulans. Getting some locals out of there. Alright. Pretty much just did it. Let's do it again. This time against reticulans though, so... It's quite a bit easier just... What now? Going for it. What? On my way again. There's something blocking How my way. Yeah, it's that? these really fucking slow psionics. What is their deal? Again? Yeah, yeah, I'm going. How are you so slow? One over there. Yeah, you're picking up rocks along the way. This ain't Minecraft. You can just move. Hold W. Yes. Pew, pew, pew. Uh, Taking better aim shots than they are. On my Look way. What? I'm I'm right go again. You need something. Oh my, yeah, you're shooting the local psionics, you jerk. Look out. How dare. Great. Here comes trouble. Here I go again. Yes. Just knock them over. That's all we need. What now? Right yeah, I'm going. Tuck and roll. Again? You need something? What? Yes. What? Oh hell! Where'd he go? Oh, I'm here. I see him. What now? Like hell, I will. Here I go again. Yeah, yeah, I see him. Mm, yeah, actually, that works out. I'd kind of like him to be a little Ready. bit closer, though, actually. Yes. Again? Let's fold in a bit. Never mind. We're good to go. <laughs> Poof! We're out of there. So, there is... a base there, which is great. Uh... Actually, does that help me any? I don't think it actually helps me any. But all we can do with it is link it up, and then we can give him education so the mine provides more. But actually, it doesn't really save me any track distance. But hey, it's still something. I think I need to check on the cat. I think it's being whiny and stuff. The benefit of this is we got some like cool jams to listen to just all the time with this game, so like I can just zoom. I don't have to like even have to get back to the main menu. Oh, I can't go for because we. It's like it counts for being adjacent because of this thing. I think to get resources I have to build a track, but like for adjacency it counts, so I can try to explore down here. Could be worthwhile. Mm. Meanwhile, do we get any decent missions here? 
Yes, just kill mutants now. Okay, that I'm willing to do. And Luffler with the promotion. It's all like... It's all those kind of levels that doesn't really give you very much improvement. I guess the agility gives you an okay amount. Bonus to close range, the dodge, the speed. Helps a bit for throwing and rifles, but the yellow bar, it's not enough to get to the next tier, so it's still average. But if I were to increase one of these, again, that would affect rifles, then, then it'll probably tick over and improve the good. But like, since you're using a shotgun anyway, close range, very good dodge, good speed. Speed's good. Speed is very good. I need to do. I need to get a, f a very fast person. Make some of these missions a lot better. That's where has got very good speed, but uh, could be better. Wouldn't it be useful to get some lower levels training with the early missions? Mm, I mean, the early missions are always going to be sticking around. I could probably get more people though. Yeah. Um. It's rough though, cause like having a bunch of people who are level three, four doesn't really help you as much as having like two people who are like level ten, cause then they're like super healthy and super fast and really accurate and do super damage and crit all the time, and it's like they turn into just to be the, the capstone of the team. But gotta find a balance though, and since we got a few people who are rank five. Probably get a couple rookies in. What now? I On anticipate us only really having like a dozen soldiers though, throughout the entire campaign. Sorland Gold is people. It is indeed. Commander, be sure to equip the skull jack on these missions. XD hope all is well. <laughs> yes. Skull jack. Well, we tried to skull jack with axe. It didn't go very well. Oh. Yes, sir. Mad Ed, thank you very much though. Tier 1, 34 months. There's one. I'm here. Yes. Happy to have you. Hope you're doing what, uh, okay. Good to go. What? What? Uh, of course the shotguns Ready. are in the back. Yes, oh. I see. You need something. Attack aborted. Still dies just as well. What now? Good to go. Here I go again. Oh, Ready. damn it. That's for die. And gambit. Yeah, yeah, I'm going. Here I go again. Oh, because there's a flatster there. Yeah, I was like, why? Yeah, <laughs> why can't you step there? Mm -hmm. I'm here. No way to do it. I can't see him. Good to go. Heads up. There's one. Huh. Um. Well. Moving out. Excuse me, Flotster. Pardon again. me. Here I go again. Again. Oh, Jesus! Yes, There's a few Give things up over here. I'm here. Um. Hmm. And you're taking aim shots, huh? Damn, That's still so inaccurate. Good to go. Bizarre. We got some armor and stuff on, so it's not so painful. Out of my range. Can we? What? What? Do okay, I that's the problem. Everybody, just go quick shot. You're way too slow. Way too slow. <laughs> you don't need to do trigonometry for these shots. Just, just go for it. It's okay. We got some some moral men that might be coming one day. Is there another one there? No. Again? You just really don't want to stand there. Are you kidding? I wonder why. Where'd he go? What? Good to go. And then on my way. This guy. Oh hell. Where'd he go? Whoa. No way I can do Ezra, I just got yes. fucking super on crit. Way. Yes. That's like a fallout crit, that. What? Yeah, yeah, Again? I see him. 
hell did he well, go? Well, we're just pouring out. What now? What do and I nobody to wants to shoot. Yeah, I see Why is this so weird right now? Again? What? Ready. Okay. I'm here. I see him. Sure. Make sure I'll you attack it, please. I'll get him. Good to go. Moving out. And make sure I'll you move way. away. I'll give you the command 80 times over so you'll actually do it. Oh, it's so frustrating. Yes. It's being so weird right now. All right. Sure. Make sure you doctor him, okay? I'm here. Yes, sir. Fucking hell. That was all so stupid just then. Good to go. What? What? Do I have to get them all? Yeah, yeah. yeah make sure I you see kill him too. What? Do I have to get them all? Yeah, yeah, I see him. You got to be kidding me. What? This guy too. Have to get them all? Like hell I will. Whatever happened to them firing until it dies? Yeah, yeah, I'm going. They used to just again? waste all of their yes. ammo trying to kill okay, it repeatedly. Sure. They're not doing that anymore. Here I go again. Yes. Looks like we might be okay over here finally, though. I'm here. Okay. Thorgan, sure. yes, please sir. walk yes. up and okay. heal him, Thorgan. <laughs> what the fuck? Here I go. This mission is cursed. Again? Here I go all right, again. Gambit, go in. It's all you, dude. Yeah, yeah, I'm going. Here I go again. Brain man. All right. Get him through the window. Yeah. See, look, see, now you're finishing him off, like you know. I don't know why the other ones weren't. It's just like, oh, it's unconscious, so I guess it's, uh, its vision must have been weird around that light pole. I couldn't step up to it with some people, but others I could from, like, a certain angle, so something was weird with that, and I think, like, they fell over and we lost line of sight for a frame and it reset their entire command list. Ooh, nasty. Library floor plan, though, is finally done. Okay. So with that... Yeah. Research. We can technically do the school, which will give us plus two research instead of the plus one that the library does. Uh, again, though, I can build multiple of the same building in a base to get their, uh, their, their knowledge level up. But it gets to a certain point where I need like four knowledge level. And if the base only has four slots, then obviously I need higher level knowledge buildings. So it's a bit of a thing. We will be needing this. <sighs> Should I do it right away? There's also jet propulsion that I ought to be doing. So I can get the, uh, like, I, like I said before, it's expensive, but it allows the Laputa to either be faster around the globe or have bigger range. And it's also got a research for increased people, so I can have a bigger squad. Definitely something I want to have at some point. I think maybe we do that after the school. And then alien language we can do... Much lighter? Hell, Earth folklore also. We'll just, like, get the, the lore stuff done later. We got plenty of time still. A level of... a level of sass we can decrease? Or SAS we can decrease? Either way, I don't think so. The sass must flow. Everybody's busy with stuff. Four labs, four factories, and the medical lab is still being built as well in Moscow. Which Moscow, actually, uh, because I mentioned it. Let's build a library. Actually, two libraries, I think. Yeah, we can go for two libraries. And then I'll be able to do... Ah, yeah, okay, it wasn't updating. Then I'll be able to do this. And 
then this base as well. We'll start tracking since it's in the same region. Build a track so we can build there. We'll just pound out knowledge with them because that's currently the only mine that I've got for the fancy alien alloys. Alright. Moscow's medical lab is done. So we can then research through the medical lab stuff. Now we only have the one medical lab, so this is actually how long it's going to be taking, unfortunately. Blowpipe blueprints. God, I forgot about the blowpipe. Oof. Um. Medkit blueprints. Four days, 12 hours. So then I can do the advanced medkits. Jesus. We need a lot more medical labs, but for that, we need a lot more income. <laughs> Blowpipe instructions. Don't suck. Ah. Curious on muck stars, but I guess an alien autopsy wouldn't be a bad idea either. What was the medical lab? Yeah, it was operation cost is actually like kind of annoyingly high. Although I guess it's really just like an in-between. It's another uh, deduction in the alien alloys for a lab. Another minus six though. Two libraries to lab. These are gonna be implant labs. Stockholm's not set up. Are you? You're not doing anything yet, right? No, you weren't doing anything. Let's go for a medical lab here. Just the one, though. I don't want to spend too much doing it. I don't think there's an autopsy research that I really want to rush. I don't even really remember what they do. So, it kind of feels like a waste if I prioritize it too much, you know? You've also got a bit. There's a lot of damn bases over here. Base owner mutants as well. Huh. That's a nice way to get me out and about over there. What do you got from me? Yeah, to try to try to get a dude alive. Sure, but let's get some more basic dudes. Frank, Sharon. Uh, Cater is much more expensive because he's already level two. I don't mind training them myself though to save the materials. You're not so fantastic. Um. Average with weapons is okay. I'll take one Frank. And I'll take... One, one Preeti. Okay. So Frank and Pretty, get them in here. We will take the armor off of Ovan Rogue. Hey, we got a helmet done as well. Three helmets, in fact. Kicking ass. Here you go, rookies. Have a helmet. It's not great, like at all, but it's... They don't take that long to make, you know? It's like, you may as well for a bit of additional protection. And there you go, you two. So Thorgan and Giant Mimir, I mean, they can't have it anyway, so it's whatever. And then you can both have rifle and shotgun. It looks like. Yeah, I got a bit of ammo still for this. Really looking forward to having our own weapons. Like, it is a game changer when you can finally manufacture your own weapons. That isn't the Desert Eagle. Like, 
I cannot express how terrible the starting weapons are. They are such dog shit. Hey, you can be a level 2 cyborg guy. Nice. I mean, I knew that. Strength and agility, huh? I mean, I'm gonna go willpower because your willpower is terrible. Generally more strength, though. Yeah, and you'll be the gunman. Yeah. Astrodice also got a level. Mm. What can I do to give you more speed? Currently, not a whole lot. And perception doesn't help with that. Strength helps a bit. Dexterity helps a bit. Wait, no. Uh, agility helps a bit, obviously. Dexterity doesn't help. And strength helps a bit, so let's give you a bit of strength. Okay. And Rogue's still out there learning how to be a leader. Ove. <sighs> Three days still. So fucking long, dude. Oh my god. Get our shotguns on the far left so I know. Alright. What mission were we doing? This guy. Was that it? It's only a mission available currently. Alright. Let's have Thorgan step aside for this and Not be a bad idea to get that medkit research done soon. I'll just average. Alright. Hmm. Up on the hill, huh? I'm not a big fan of this this map. It's okay. What now? Just a bit dangerous right, is all. Here we go. Because the line of sight off this cliff is kind of wild. Ready, sir. Might have been easier for me to start down below and work the way up, actually. What? Here I go again. Right I now. see one. Hmm? Ah, a moralman. Yes, also, sir. the moralman that we need. Right. Here we go. Again. Here he comes. No, I need something. giant Mimir and Treaty, who I didn't name. I gotta name you two. Here I go again. Yes, on my way. You two will be the gun for this. What? He's gone. Because Gambit and Frank are yeah, a little too yeah, powerful. Commander. What now? Yeah, yeah, I see him. Dead. Wait. Here I go again. I saw, I I I saw that. <laughs> it's like a him? fucking <laughs> Grand Theft Auto ragdoll. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I see. Him. Jesus. What? Look out. Yeah, yeah, He's I'm out for blood. He's pulling out yeah. a gun. Alright, just you unconscious. So Mimir, walk up Here quick to him. Yes. So that he gets converted onto our side. And then doctor him a bit. I'm here. Okay. What? Look out. Hmm? Uh, ah. Run, moral men, run! He's moved out of my range. <laughs> I gotta get out of here! I'm being rescued by XCOM. Hey, I mean, trouble. whatever we're called. Look out! I'm sure it's fine. I think I lost him. Yeah, Anyone it's fine. See him? Phew. All right, cool. We got that. It is another base potentially. 
And also, a nice way to break out into these really distant regions, too. Which, uh... They're far away. It's gonna take a little while to move the Luputo around to get over to those, but... They're far enough away, I feel like we could possibly get some more of the alien alloys going on. Which to me is the most important resource to generate, because then I can track around more freely. And connect up more bases. We gotta get this done first, though. Light helmets are done. Can we make anything else for now? No, not really. At least it updated the time it takes to make this stuff. That's nice. Well, um, yeah, I guess just hang tight. It's fine. Cyborgs. Hostile mutants eliminate mutant threat. Locate and terminate. So Thorgan, you can come back for this. Unnamed cyborg. No, you're giant Mimir. Uh, two humans, that's right. Preeti and Frank. Dave GC. And then we'll go with the patron name for this one, because it's been a little bit. Leva. Okay. Were you? Division one. Yeah, it seems to be. Give you a little more health. You need it. What is that? like a seven days to die base or something. So we don't have help on this mission, huh? There's mutants, I think. Right, on my way. I don't think I've ever had this portion of the map, because this is usually the one where it's like this whole business, and then you got the stairs up for the balcony, and then one of these guys and another one of these guys further down. And then it just like cuts off over here. Never had that part of the map. Again? It's nice. I'm Refreshing. Yes. Uh, who was really quick? Just as we die. I'm here. I'm here. Ready, sir. Okay, Dave GC as well. On my way. Yes, cool. sir. So Dave will do a bit of scouting with you then. Right. Here we go. Heading out. Elcom Laputa Commando. Yeah, maybe. Although right. LCOM sounds go. a bit like loser com. Heading out. Loser combat. Ugh. What? Here I go again. There's Order's one over commander. there. Uh-huh. Yes, sir. Right. Here we go. What now? I think I see one. A moral man as well. Yes. Here I go. Oh yeah, and everybody quick shot too. Ready, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. You need something again? Again? What? Again? Lost sight of the target. Yeah, okay, Orders cancel commander. that. What? He's He's moved out of range. I'm not sure what he's doing. 
I'm not sure if he even knows what he's doing. I think they maybe spotted us running back here and they were coming to investigate and they've just gone too far. Again? What? Here I go again. Alright, well they're out this away then. Ah, another brain man over there. Again? I'm here. Yes. There's one over what? there. Yes. I'm here. What? I'm here. Again? Yeah, yeah, I'm going. He's just running. He's out of here. Again? Yes. You need something? I what? think I lost He's him. Gone. Anyone see him? Like so little well. damage. They have to. It has to just be like a strong kinetic armor that they've got. So if we get some AP rounds, we can take out flatsters no problem. Yeah, yeah, I see it. That's you more like it. 1680. Me. I mean, that's it's like 10% damage yeah. we do to them. 90% physical mitigation. Right? Gotta be. What? On my way. Yes, sir. What? Good killing, Gambit. Orders, Commander. Just a bunch of dudes trotting around with this like rock Again? music, shotgunning what? things, point blank. Again? So cool. Yeah, yeah, I'm going. Bunch of bullies, really. Yes, sir. Again? Here I go again. I think I see one. Yes. There you are. What? Great. What now? Comes I trouble. see him. Gambit sees a brand man. Ready, sir. What? Yes, sir. Targeting enemy. What? That's not possible. What? Do I have to get them all? Orders, Commander. Like hell, I will. <laughs> Good job, Gambit. Lens. Same deal. Uh, brain men just, yeah. I guess, claw you. Like, they don't really do anything yeah, else, yeah. as far as I can tell. You'd think that they've got, like, a strong psionic attack or something, but... I had never Look seen out. them attack before today. Brain man. Brain man? What? Right. Here we go. Here Brain man. Trouble. <laughs> Look out. Mm -hmm. I see one. Look out. Orders, Commander. Yeah, yeah, I see. What you. now? There's a lot of them over here. Need something. I'm here to help. Yes, sir. Again? My attack is screwed. Orders, Commander. Aborting. Targeting enemy. What? Great. Yes. Here comes trouble. I love you yes, work sir. on him, actually. Heading out. Uh, I can't go there. What next? Look out. Then we fan out. Ready, sir. What now? What? Do I have to get them all? You need something? Yes, sir. Again? Ready, sir. Son Run! Ah, oh, hell. Where'd he go? Camp yes. pulls in. I'm here. Giant Mimir, get up in there. The local cyborg is just holding his own down there. Good work to him. Like hell, I will. Anyone see? Need something? Yes, on my 
my way. There's one over there. Yes, sir. I don't know what I hear over there, but get back inside the little golf ball. <sighs> Sounds like a yes. mech stomping around. I don't know what they're something. defending with. There's one over there. Another. There's one so left. many here. Dude, this is going to be really good ammo for us. I think I lost. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, anyone spooked him. him. You got to me. <laughs> God, I love the way they fall. <laughs> Straight down. <laughs> uh, seven cells. Oh shit, XCOM! Uh. <laughs> uh, Alright, so I was thinking about one of the areas over here. Sure. Work on that. Get the Laputa Prime for it. Psionic territory. Nothing too interesting here that we see. This is a extraction. All right. Who took the most damage there? Was that Dave? Nah, Dave's Dave's kind of okay. It was a lot of temp damage, I guess. So, um, awful dexterity, awful willpower. Where do we start with you? Go for willpower first. And then Gambit was generally a sniper. Can't quite give you the training for that yet, so get a little more speed. Average speed now. Awful intelligence into poor intelligence. All right, and I need a free slot, so... I will go ahead and dump your stuff. I will send you in for sniper training then. I don't have sniper rifles yet, but now's an okay time to at least get it going. So three rifles, power cells looking okay. And you've got the shotgun. All right. Let's get them. Ready, sir. What now? Yes, sir. He's a coming. Slowly. I think he shit himself, but he ain't letting that stop him. Ah, there you are. Right. Hello. Here we go. Orders come commander. along. Yeah, she's pretty quick too. E Z. Cool, so some more base opportunities. Which is neat, but <laughs> not what I'm after. Because I don't have the income. Moscow's got the libraries in. So 66 now you're getting. Don't know what you were before, actually, but pretty sure it's higher. And now you can do basic implants for you've got the knowledge level of two. Yeah. So we'll go for two so we can actually get the implants researched in somewhat decent time, I guess. And then we got to get the manufacturing up for it, too, at some point, which... Do I know how to do that? We must be able to. Okay. Basic weapons, by the way. Three more hours for assault rifles. It's a getting there. A 
assault rifle blueprints. So now sniper rifle blueprints and basic weapons lab. Uh, after that... Edged weapons, I guess, so we could maybe one day get axe back. Manufacturing. Now. AK-47, HK-33, M4 carbine, or the XM-8 assault rifle, which is the correct answer. Which should we do first? It's the XM-8. It's because it's got the longest range, and that's the most important. <laughs> um... How many? Like... A few? And it uses... 556, I guess? Okay. Rate of fire, stopping power comparable to the HK-33 and M4, accuracy far superior. Yeah, that must be the ammo type that it- yeah, that, that is. Okay, so 556, which we're currently working on, which is pretty cool and convenient. Let's turn these off for the time being, make sure we get plenty of that. So four of those, one day, 11 hours for all four. Ugh. Paris Medical Lab is done too. Okay. Ugh. Yeah, that's looking a little bit better. Get the times updated a bit. A little bit better. It doesn't take us a week and I have to chop a dude up anymore. We've just identified uh -oh. a new faction on Earth. These humans seem to make their homes in the areas where the biomass is still active. So far, every attempt at contact has been unsuccessful. From what we hear from the rest of the humans, these guys belong to some sort of cult that has established a pseudo-religion. They worship the reticulans and want to finish their experiment. I've highlighted the cultist territories in red on the geosphere. This bunch is definitely hostile and opposes our presence, so we need to stay on our toes when we deal with them. Difficulty spike now from cultists? Nah, cultists are not so bad. But they are here though. Like right next to us. We're gonna want to take that out. And down there they can maybe have for a bit. They can definitely have that probably. They will slowly spread. And if you take them out, they'll just kind of repopulate elsewhere. There is no getting rid of them at this point. So we'll have to... Um, Prep for a mission there at some point. Yeah, I can't do it now. At some point, we'll have to do the... Well, once we get real guns, cultists go down so easy. The There is a slight annoyance with them with their snipers because they're like psionic and assholes and like they'll shoot you and you'll get like berserk and start shooting your own dudes. That's, that's annoying, but... This highest difficulty? No, this is normal. You don't play this game at the highest difficulty. It doesn't work that way. <laughs> Actually, it might not be so bad. I don't know. I haven't tried. The game gets fucking hard, though, later on. School floor plan is done, so we can build a school for plus two instead of uh, the earlier thing for plus one. We have more queued up, I think, right? Yeah, jet propulsion next up. All right. Snipers insta give some of your soldiers? Did did you not have armor? Don't think they hurt that much, do they? And yeah, college floor plans available now too. That's like four knowledge, but I think it requires one knowledge to build it. So like you have to get a basic uh, library in and then the college. Something like that. But you need it for like the fancier plasma weapons and everything later on. There we go. What do we got? Not a whole lot. 
cyborgs have this area, though. They're being stubborn. Okay. Yeah, fine. <laughs> so, over here, then. What is this? Mutants. Locals eradicate. It's got a basic mine. Yeah, I suppose. Basic implant labs. All right. So with that now, basic cyborg implants. Seven days, five hours base. Takes quite some time. Yeti, I hope it's worth it. Hmm. <sighs> it will be eventually. Just eventually, though. So, going down, kicking butt. Ezra die. Were you gonna go train Ezra die, actually? You could be a ranger for better close combat. Hmm. Nah, I think I'd rather have you on our team currently. And trooper rocket launchers and related weapons. At some point. Oh, phase status check. Yeah, two days, nine hours. Yeah, he's about halfway done. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, awful dexterity. Ugh. Ugh. What the fuck? All you do is close range. All right. I mean, for the time being, it might be kind of okay if I keep it with the shotgun. Give you good strength. I lift rocks. That's what I do. Alright. Give you a bit better intelligence. And you were the... the spotting cyborg. Yeah. So perception can give you some more dodge, intelligence, nothing. observation we need um intelligence perception i think so intelligence because that also helps out with the enemy skill so you do more damage okay i think i might throw some of you into training at least you we can get you in for gunman Get that going. I don't know when I'll be able to actually get ultra heavy weapons and armor. Um, probably a, a long while, but we'll get going on it now while we can. And then, and Team Rocket could be kind of fun. Want to get you more levels though. If anybody, it'd be Ezra. I get you some education. Hey, I do in JLA. That this menu's a little bit foreboding at the start, but like, you know, the dude's basic stuff, the paper doll for their equipment, and then the equipment and tabs. Um, speaking of, you need a helmet. Does anybody else need a helmet? Okay. Um, and then the training is just, you know, what do you want to spend their level on, and if they want specialization training. That's not so bad. It doesn't help you're coming into it like right at the beginning or right in the middle of it. Yeah, let's give you let's give you some ranger training. Let's do it. So I actually take this off again then. Oh, you need to heal up a bit more. Yeah, I guess. Alright. So two more two more people I could use. don't have the materials for that stuff and I don't really want another cyborg I'm quite happy just having a couple Rufus coming in hot at level 4 already Oof. he's already a trooper as well it's 
like a, th a third of my basic alloys though for this guy. Do I really want Team Rocket that badly? I don't think I do. It's a lot of materials. <laughs> Ooh, very good strength. Strong. We're just like at the interview and they just like lift up the desk with one arm. Whoa. You're also quite okay close range. Yeah, I'll take I'll take you. Who else do we got? We got Dick, also a trooper. Two thousand of that material. Uh we got two thousand of the alien alloy stuff. We only got nine hundred of the basic stuff. As far as the sign of people goes. Nah. Nah, we'll wait on it. Does it have to be a trooper? <laughs> Can it be maybe not a trooper? Henry with rifle skill. Mmm. You're hired. So two more people we got. Lord Braska. Will that fit? Lord Brask. Ah, shit, what if you're a zero? Does that take up less space? No. It just has to be Braska. Unfortunately. Ah. And membranes. Membrane. You kidding me, game? All right. Membrane. What a... <laughs> what a name. Man. <laughs> I just feel like I wouldn't like this person if I met them in a real life and like, Hi, you can call me Membrane. So then... Close range and kind of whatever. Wait, weren't you? I think I hired the wrong guy. Oh well. I thought you were like super cool with rifles. Maybe I didn't get that guy because they sucked at something else. It's boss 12 because it's got a bit of range, and then no med kit and membrane can be a bit of whatever. We got a little bit of ammo for this nowadays. Still, so I'll go for it. Uh, at least I can mold them into whatever. Yeah, they're like as fucking bog standard as it gets. They're just average and poor across the board. That is true. It's not a bad thing, really, being able to like mold them from the start. It's just it takes a lot of time. There's definitely a big bonus in hiring somebody who's already got a bit of basic training. Because the training, it ain't short. Like, a day 12 hours, it's an entire day. Like, I mean, you've seen how long Ove's been out. The poor dude's still level 2. He's gonna get out of the sick bay. It's gonna be like The Walking Dead. He's gonna wake up from the hospital and be like, Wait, who are all these people? Why are they lost everywhere? What game are we even playing? Alright. This is just a kill mission, I think, right? Yeah. Emergency sniper, there you go. Yeah, exactly. Because they also arrive instantly. It's not like Apocalypse where you gotta wait a little while for them to uh, to show up. Especially if the taxi company hates you. <laughs> they just gotta fucking like walk to your base. Ugh. You need something. Ready. And everybody quick fire. So, right. Here we I'm go. betting here. Could also go up the ladder and get up onto the rooftop. Roof is almost always clear. Ready, Gives you an okay what now? sort of entry point. What now? God, I can't wait for a real here weapon. I go again. 
Good to go. On my way. There's like so much strategy and placement that I just can't do because their weapons are too shit. Like, oh, that'll be a great spot, but it puts you so far away from everything. Ah, Muckstar over there. All right. Well, then, uh, head in and turn around and blast it in its face. Yes, sir. Oh, no, membrane. Never oh, mind. We're good. I will. Moving out. I'm here. On my way. Here I go. Here I go. What? All right. What now? Here I go again. What now? Here I go again. Anybody else see that? That looks yes, a little sir. bit sus. Got this, Dave. Easy kill. Again? Leave us here to kill steel. 218 damage. It does a lot more damage. Meanwhile, the Flaster is really struggling hard to do, do anything to you at all. Orders, Commander. That's why I'm so confused about them. Again. Like, they're just yes, sir. bait. As soon as you get any armor at all, you kind of shrug off everything, and they're really yes. inaccurate, too. Good to go. I don't know what On their plan the is. The world domination. Something. A bit of harassment. Just trolling. What now? Yeah, we what? should go upstairs, too. Yeah, yeah, I'm going. Double check. What? Yeah, I only do like 10% yeah, yeah, damage to, uh, to mock stars with the... Uh, or flat stars, rather. With bullets. Again? Here I go again. Shotgun normally doing like 1300, but I was only doing 120 or so to them. Again? It's really a lot of mitigation. What? Here I go again. What? Yeah, yeah, I'm going. I think this building's clear. I think we gotta head out that way. What now? Orders, Commander. Blatzer is a bug, very short range, but the A just tries to shoot you at long range, a 0% chance to hit. Yeah, I did notice that. I didn't catch what these chances were just then. Ugh. 30%. That was trying. But even from that distance, 30%, yes, that's awful. Yes. What? Orders, Commander. Yes, sir. Moving out. What now? Here I go again. Again? You need something. Just want to spot. Yeah, yeah, Good I'm to go. going. Look out. Yes, sir. Uh-huh. What? Yeah, yeah, I see him. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. So cancel that yes. back out. What now? Team fall back. Yes, sir. X. On my way. Orders, Commander. Four. What's Wait, the binding for Team Fall Back and CS 1.6? I think that's X4. Maybe C6? Oh, hell. Where'd he go? Oh, fucking no. What? I see him. What? Oof. Nice crit. Yeah, yeah, I see. Him. I don't know. Step up a bit. What? I'm here. Again? There's one. What? The? Moving out. Okay, what? so membrane sees him. Good for you. What now? Braska, get up here. Take this dude out. Yeah, yeah, I'm yes. going. Oh, you got it. What hitting me? What? Here I go again. Again? Again? Like hell I will. Ooh, 
What do I have no, no, no. to get them Move all? up, then attack. Come on, game. You know how this works. Oh, yeah, I don't know how cover works in the game exactly. Um, Whatever. I'm not positive on that because like it doesn't really track projectiles it's just a predetermined chance if it hits or misses and the projectile itself is like a bit whatever but i don't know if being behind cover actually reduces a chance to hit not sure currently though i can't really hang out behind cover because the weapons are that terrible that i have to just run up together as a big stupid group Ugh. awful so now we're looking to do a mission there. Hopefully not much longer for real rifles. What's that? What's that? We don't know. Uncontrollable. Just a zone to track through. There's a few areas like that, like the Sahara Desert's like that too. There's a lot of areas that you just can't, uh, can't control. It's just, oh literal nothing you don't think there's a cover mechanic in any way shape or form yeah i feel like that's the case too but i'm not uh 100 certain aggressive reticulans uh escorting some dudes out for some cyborgs i guess i'll work on it Cyborg rep is always kind of cool. The thing with cyborgs, though, is if I keep repping up with them, the Sonics are going to hate me. There's... Try Windows Spacebar Lithrandal. I think that's the key binding to change through languages. I don't know why you'd have the fucking QWERTY layout on, but... <laughs> hey, how you doing, Zircrum? Welcome, welcome. Such an underrated gem, this. You're familiar with it. It's a good time, right? I I admittedly, I missed these games the very first time around through when they came out, when they were new. I was too busy in the MMO craze. So I discovered them quite late, but they still hold up really well. Uh, what was I looking for? Oh yeah, Luputa Lab. I think it's Earth Folklore. That leads us to some research that we can do to, um... to mitigate rep losses when we help Faction A. You know, then Faction B doesn't mind so much. It's more about, like, banding together and all the... So when we get Jet Propulsion Lab set up we can see about maybe doing that this takes so long Ugh. aftershock was good this was better after like kind of mad well this this is aftershock aftermath is the first one which good aftershock i feel like is better in pretty much every way and then after light i never gave an honest chance to I was too frustrated with it when I very first played it. I think because you don't get many people. And uh, it was a bit daunting. That's what I meant, obviously. God. Ugh, I know. I'm just, you know, for other people in chat, you know, who are reading into it, you know. I got I'm doing it for them. Wink, wink. <laughs> hey, Rogue, though. Grats on finally being a, a leader. Holy shit. Our first training. You did it. He's done it. Reduced effects of side attacks on nearby allies. And if you want to get leader rank 2, we need to give you good strength and excellent intelligence. You gotta read more books. Whew. Armchair General, let's go. He's doing it. Muckstar Autopsy. The enemy called Muckstar also appears in the old tales from the time immediately after the alien invasion. It is not clear if the Muckstars we see to get today are identical to the Muckstars of yore, and we know very little about the Muckstars' ecology. The Muckstars look like large spiked balls hovering above the terrain. Their autopsy reveals that the largest part of their body is filled with the hydrogen that makes them float. 
The rest is occupied by organs capable of developing a strong electric current used to electrolyze water and also to attack its prey. Muck stars are very light, highly maneuverable, however also very poorly protected. They attack by electric discharge. Wow, that was so useful. So like... <sighs> Don't know if I'm remembering after a math where like you do all the autopsies and you unlock um, extra research. Or if it's literally just for lore. I don't know. Let's get medkit blueprints into it though so we can one day work on advanced medkit blueprints. following the dude on the furthest right. We can have a full group with it though, which is kind of cool. Gonna throw you in for a bit of training, Leva. We'll get you going for Trooper. You can be one at Team Rocket, and then we can have Rogan. Rogue, what weapon do you use? It's been too long. Riffle? Hey, we got an XM8 done. Hot damn. So check this thing out. Range. 40. Accuracy. 68. 10 more range than the rifle. A little less accurate. A little bit. Um, DPS while in single fire mode. 178 base. Up from 138. Hmm. Looks like a rifle for a leader. Well, I mean, we do just have the one. And you are actually the leader. You're probably the worst with rifles in the group, though. No, never mind. That's Dave. And also Braska. Yeah, okay, fine. <laughs> so, grats. There you go. You've got it. You're like a real actual soldier, damn near. You can even have a medkit spare? Fully armored? Look at you. God damn it. Look, you can even hold all of it. You've got enough strength for it. 58% load. So Rogue's going to be slaughtering everything probably for a bit because the game is now easy mode temporarily. Why not 69? So close, right? Um... If I had another couple rifles, I'd say let's not even bother actually escorting these people. Orders, Commander. But... Ready, sir. Yes, sir. On my way. I really should. What? And Braska just kind of hang out yes, away sir. from everybody else Ready. so you don't cause too much drama Orders, with your I'm here. massive posse. Here I go. Yes, sir. We can be like tactical and stuff there. and actually kneel down and, and things. So exciting. I see him. Good to go. Orders, Commander. Orders, Commander. Yes, sir. Yes. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, Six percent from Rogue from way back here with not even a named uh. shot. I see one. Orders, Commander? What the? Yes. You shouldn't have been mayor? You are. Not a great chance to hit, though, sir. Yes, sir? Right. Here we go. Stopping up. Kneeling. Aimed single Targeting shots. 42%. Here they come. 48%. That's just a standard dude. 400 damage. You need something? On my way. They really want the mirror. I don't know if they see you, Rogue. Orders, Commander. Okay, this I guy see definitely one. sees you. All right, fall back a little bit, Rogue. Heading out. Good to go. Bring them in. Ready. 
Yes, sir. Ah. Ah. Then you can also go auto fire. Yes, sir. Um, Dave, we can see about. I don't think they can shoot through the windows here, so we can right. see about maybe here tucking Yendi Get here, out. and you can pop yes. out and say, "Hey." Kind of like what Mamir's going to do go. with these guys. Sure. I'll get him. Good to go. Kiss him goodbye, Ready, sir. Spotted. Orders, Oof. Commander. Targeting okay, yeah, they enemy. they can actually just shoot through right. this. Here we go. Yeah, fine. And blast him then. Yes, sir. And then get down. Ugh. Yes, sir. Right. Ready. Go. Ah. Ready, sir. I've got it. Ah. Man, twelve percent. Ah. What? <laughs> what a lucky damn alien. Good to go. Dude is lighting us up with these garbage chances to hit. On my way, yes, sir. All Ready. right. Frosket, did you have a med kit? Ready, sir. Dave's got a med kit. Mamir's yes, got a med kit. Yes. Good to go. Enemy lost. Ready, sir. Ready, sir. Targeting enemy. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. All right, we set. Ready. We settled. Okay. Orders, Commander. Sure. It takes a bit. Poof! Your medical no skill sucks. Sure. Oh, you're so terrible at this. It's like an entire med kit you're using on yourself. Okay. I wonder if you like heal worse while crouched or something. That seemed extra yes, bad. Average medical, it claims. Ready, sir. Hmm. Yes. You're fooling me. All right, Broski, you can move up with your little mini army here. Ready, sir. Yes, sir. Good to go. Moving up. Yes, sir. Here they come. I've got him. Quick single fire shots. Forty five percent chance. <laughs> Rogue, please. A little bit of damage, but, uh, nothing really too bad. 187 total HP lost. It's alright. It's not so long in the med bay. But now we got this zone. Which, um... Oh, right, I'm looking over here, currently, with the scan. So, we'll come back to that. Oh, I think that area, there wasn't that area, like, it was uh, aggressively taking it, but I didn't want to do that. A leadership skill, um, an aura around you reduces psi, like, increases psi protection for people around you. But it turns into also increased accuracy and health and everything. So it'll eventually just turn into a big AoE buff. And you can hang out there with your cool club and, uh, you know, murder eyes. Jet Propulsion Lab, floor plan. Probably requires a ton of knowledge for it, I don't quite remember. Yeah, five knowledge for that. Holy fuck, holy. Alright, um...
We take out the medical lab, we can go all in! <laughs> Last three has all the things described, but yet he can't read? Yeah, no. It's a Let's Player thing. You can maybe look it up on the wiki. Or just ask and we can answer it. That also works. Pretty easy. Believe it or not, I actually kind of like chat engagement for a live stream. I know, it's kind of weird. Hmm. So this is where having a college is actually, like, kind of nice. Because <laughs> finding a base that can have so many libraries and schools in it to allow us to get a uh, propulsion lab is a bit of a trick. I mean, it, it can be done. It'd have to be a base with five slots, which I, th I think New York might have. No, this can be a big port. This is just... Well... Not sure. Is there any way to see here? Can't tell if this is going to be four or five. Malaga is the same deal. Moscow is six slots. Yeah. Five. Terminal doesn't count. But yeah, we're full up there. Hmm. Well, we had... We got a bit of a mess here. Like, I can- I can fit you into our network, too. You'll look like you'd be five. I don't know what the fuck's going on with this slot, though. But, like, one, two, three, four, five. Technically. Let's try it. Let's take a peek and see. Smells of four slots and piss. Hmm. Sadness. <laughs> Can it rename bases? Mm, no. Doesn't seem it. We found the records of these names in books and we refuse to change them. What's done is done. And now we're losing a bit of everything over time. Sniper rifle blueprints are done. So with that, clear out the finished. A browning weapon. 45 millimeter NATO weapon, 35 millimeter weapon. Medium armor blueprints and speed it up a bit. All right. I mean, I can, I can make those. Okay, I can make some of them. MSG-90 sniper rifle, M82A1. Or the SR-25. It don't take too long to make. This boy uses the 50 Browning ammo. I feel like this is going to be a pretty solid fuck-off weapon. Five-run magazine? I don't know if I mind that too much. Obviously, these require sniper rifle training as well. General design of the M16. North American continent use until the 20th century. 20 round magazine. 762. Lighter than conventional sniper rifles. Accurate. Fairly reliable. Seems like the safer, but superb accuracy. Greatly improved. Do you like that? And the size of the size and weight makes it slow to aim. And virtually useless at short range or against fast moving targets. But, like, that'll melt things. 
I might, I might go with the MSG-90. Just go for like super accuracy. Try it and see. But for the AP ammo, I would want a weapon for the, and then 7.62, and then I'm not sure about the 5.56, what I would get for the. None of this seem to use that particular type. Because there's 556, but then there's the 556, the 45 millimeter NATO, which is different. So I think I need to just find the weapon from a cultist, I guess. Would they even have it? Oh, hum. I mean, we don't need the APM for a little while yet anyway, but it would be cool to have. Otherwise, we, uh... We kid around with the other weapon and blueprint types and see. Might need to find it. You think the cultist got it? What other weapon could reasonably have it? Because I don't know bullets. Like, would a, would a proper machine gun have that? Because, like... Kind of want to check out machine guns anyway for our cyborg who can use super heavy weapons at some point. I'd assume that that helps for that. Otherwise, I'm not really too sure where we'd be going with it. I bet the glossary knows. My god, we've got a mission. Cultists have a base in this province. And it could serve as the perfect foundation for a base of our own. Seize this opportunity by mounting a mission to take the province by force, but it won't be an easy task. Proceed there at once and eliminate cults in the area. I will keep that in mind, for I would like to get a few more rifles made up. 15 hours? For two, so we should have two of them made up. Oops. Glossary, not a UFOpedia? I think it's got general info, not just like... ...specific to stuff that you've looked into. Okay, so what stuff that I've already researched and is also, like, available. We can look into it a little bit here. Not that it helps so much. Um, I mean, I guess we got the info for the rivals that we could have made here. So we can see how awesome our decision was to make the best one. Is it this guy? No. Not to be confused with 762, 39. 39, 51, fucking... What? Which one do I need? Mobster are going for a 30 second ad. I'll do it, because I need to figure out what's going on here. <laughs> XMA, best 556 rifle in the game? Yeah, I think so too. That's the obvious choice. There's really no decision making about that. Um, technology, AP ammo. The 556-49, or 45 I think is what I was curious about which isn't in this list. So I guess we super have no clue. We'd have to research a weapon then, I guess that would have it. Yeah, fine. 
some of those nice nice things so i guess yeah filling out the glossary i suppose is um the benefit of researching the bodies because there i can actually get their info they're quite resistant to burn and sigh all right well uh the other rifle will go to you're good with rifles so you then. You're also ready to level. We got a bunch of levels, actually. Wow. Can we get your rifles up a little bit more? I don't think so. We can get your perception up more, though. You're so good at looking. And... God damn it. Um. Intelligence? <laughs> Get a little bit of enemy skill. Fix the awful dexterity finally. Same for you too. There. In a pinch, I can also have you do a bit of doctoring now too. Like it's a, it's a feasible idea now. Awful dexterity. You can't do anything with that. All right. Are we ready to take on cultists with this? Possibly. Third rifle would obviously help a lot. Go for it though. I think we'll be all right. So their maps are kind of wild because they live like inside the remnants of the biomass. And a lot of the time it's like just stilted buildings and walkways and stuff. It's kind of wild. Um, you can go down beneath on the biomass. It doesn't hurt or anything like that. It's totally fine. And they are sometimes down there and there's just ladders periodically throughout. It's really the type of thing where, like, you kind of want to just camp a ladder and make sure it's clear for a little bit. Ready, sir. Quick fire. First fire rifles. Yes, On my way. Charge into this building. Make sure it's clear. There's one. Turns out it wasn't. There's a cultist. They're not a whole lot. To look at it's just a dude with the gas mask gives kind of stalker vibes ready kiss him goodbye oh um ready sir good to go rogue just blocked the doorway for everybody well, I can't go there. okay yeah there's there's additional dudes in here targeting enemy I'm here yes sir Move membrane over. Braska, yeah, Braska's clogging sir. everybody up. Cult is cyborg too. That's not possible. Yes, Fucking deleted. What? Here I go again. Ready, sir. And get Dave in a little bit. You got the shotgun though. You ought to get in close. Yes, sir. Moving membrane, maybe step up a little bit and yes, fire. Sir. Dave then. We can get ready, sir. Here, what now? Roska. Yeah, yeah, I'm going. Here Maybe go just again. here. It's a little bit in the what? way, but yeah, yeah, yes, sir. I see him. Ooh. <laughs> he didn't even get a chance to point at me. Oh, he had a knife. I wonder if he was going to try to stab me. What an asshole. Ready, sir. Yes. All right. So giant Mimir then. You had, yeah, very good observation. So you'll hear stuff if uh, anybody's coming. So you work out quite well just to have camped here, watching. 
while we figure out yes, what sir? we're doing in this room. Right. Breach and clear. Go, go, yes, go. Orders, Commander. Heading out. Okay, well done. Right. Here That's a bit go. rude having a couple dudes like right there. Yeah, the monolith guys, right? Stalker got monolith vibes from I Cultists and Aftershock. I'm I'm sure Cult of Sonic. We gotta watch out for them. Yes. I'm sure that's where they got it from. That's probably it. They're like, oh my yes, god, sir? these cultists are so cool in this UFO Aftershock game. We have to have them as like the monolith guys in ours. Ready, sir. Man, I knew it. Fucking stalker. Heading out. Ripping content. I've got him. Unconscious. And not dead. Yes, sir. There's probably more on Ready, the sir. way. Right. Here we go. So watch out for that. But these dudes are assholes. I don't know if it's their gun exactly that does it or if it's just something magical that they do. But they will cause your dude to go berserk or sometimes I think stun them. And they just continuously I pick on something. the guy. You Here don't really want to be out and about yes. on your own. Yes, sir. On cultist missions because of them. I heard something. You need something. Unconscious. The attack. Rogue, shoot the one behind. Just injured. Let's get out of here. <laughs> we made a mistake. Fuck. Ah, <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, they're all dead. Orders, Commander. Right, here we go. What now? Get a couple shotguns in the side, just in case they actually make it kind of sort of into the building. Yes, sir. Then we're ready for them. What? Good to go. All right, take a peek. I love our golf ball just sitting on their dock like this. It's so in the way. On my way. And before mind control shenanigans. Moving out. Nah. We good? Can I like actually advance to your proper building? On my way. Sorry, mold spore. Yeah. Yeah, I guess so. Golf ball. Ready, sir. Heading out. Yes, sir. Orders, Commander. Head now. Again? Yes, sir. Yes. On my way. I see one. Who? Where? Ah, scuttle bugs. Okay. Yes, sir. They're not at all a threat. I I don't know what scuttle bugs do. Ready, sir. There's one over there. They scuttle. Oh. I'm here. Okay. What? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm. Orders, God damn it, Twitch chat. <laughs> Again. Yes. I oof. think I see one. Oof, oof, oof. Okay. I'm here. Yes, sir. What if you were to like aim and stuff? What? Yeah. Yes. Here I go. What now? I don't know if I want to commit with moving you guys up at this point. And rogues in the way for that. Yes, sir. Right. Here we go. Orders Cancel those commander. movements. Rogue, step to the side. I'm here. Man, even with yes, the sir? burst fire. Targeting enemy. All right. Well, I can't go there. What next? Well, yes. come here, dude. You're so big. What, do I have to get a ball? Oof. Shotgun wars. Yes. 
what? I think I lost Got him. Kidding me. Anyone yes, see sir? Him? I'm here. And single fire aimed Ready, shots. Sir. Got him. What now? Hey, victory or death? That's not possible. Okay. I can't complete the attack. Yes, sir. Yes, on my what? way. You're all right. I think it just stuns you what for a now? bit. Here I Orders, go Commander. No problem. Orders, Commander? I'm here. Yes, sir? Right. Here we go. There's one over there. Just walking around in there. <laughs> Man. Fucking map clipping. I Orders, think I lost Commander? It. See him? Yes, sir. Yes. Well, I'm here. R is not the reload button. I forgot. Orders, Commander? No, well. He'll still be okay for a bit. Yes, sir. Good to go. Moving out. You want to take on some scuttlebugs, membrane? They were There's here one. somewhere. Boarded. There's one. Kiss him goodbye. Kiss him goodbye. Kick ass. Moving out. On They're one way. of those uh, atolls over here, then somewhere. Moving out. Guess not. All right. Come on up. Orders, Commander. Sure. Would you okay. please sure. heal him already? <sighs> the heck's going on? Yeah, yeah, I'm going. What's that noise? Dave's yes, healing, sir. I think average? Yeah, average. Again? I just, I queued up like several heals and he's just like, yes, no, sir. I'm just gonna do it once. On my way. Moving out. Heads up. There's one. Take that, infidel. Damn, he's gone. Die. Damn, he's gone. Heretic. What? Take that, infidel. Um, he's got a knife. I believe I hear them. Hold the line. Orders, Commander. Good to go. Again? Disengage. Damn. Offside. Somebody, please, for the love of Christ, shoot their weapon. Yes. What? Yes, oh, you're both on aim. All right. I think I lost him. Fucking you hell! They take him? so long. <laughs> they walked out, noticed you, ran to you instead of membrane, and then were like, "Ah, eh, fuck it," and ran back in before you could even shoot. Ready. Uh. Heads up. Again? Good to go. This tree is so in the way. Pew, pew, pew. Ready. On my way. We what? Oh. Son of a no surrender. Nobody saw him. Orders, oh, Commander. Hell. Where'd he go? Okay, guys. I see him. Let's do a proper. There you go. Ow, a little bit of friendly. Ow, Good to go. Jesus. Moving out. Eight, nine percent my ass. Can't complete the attack. Again? Oh, what the shit? Orders, Game, Commander. your hit chance is lying. No, stay here a second. Out. Eight, no nine problem. percent. Sure, no problem. That's just incorrect. On my way. Yes, sir. Sure. Okay. Ugh. Sure. 
No problem. Sure. No problem. Sure. No problem. Okay, good enough. <laughs> Ugh. Stuff. Basic med kit, shotgun cartridge, ammo, MP5 submachine gun, three knives. Ooh. SR25 sniper rifles. Advanced med kits, two of them. M82A1, Barrett sniping rifle. A little Uzi. Cyanic poison projector. Psy booster. Laser sniper rifle. Stuff. I thought that membrane was invisible, to be honest. Mm. <laughs> Man. Friendly fire sometimes, let me tell you. Some rimmerled shit there. Okay. Um. <clears throat> so laser sniper rifle we've got. That's kind of a cool thing. I just don't have a way to make... Anything for it? <laughs> well, we got one. Obviously, I have to have the uh, sniper training for it. Hmm, Broska leveled. And yeah, membrane as well. Poor guy. How long you out for? Two days, seven hours. Yeah, all right, a little bit longer than Ove. Ove is now finally under two days left. Jesus. Uh, right, training for you. Mm, er, M. Strength for health? Maybe. Did that, does that help? Okay, not quite yet, but. I'm gonna do it so you can actually hold your helmet on your head correctly without buckling over. The invasion will be done before Ovi's out of the sick bay. Could probably speed run it by the time he's out, honestly. What are we doing with you? They never know what to train them as. A lot of the time, they're just mediocre enough that it could be anything. Having everybody with a bit of medic wouldn't be bad though, especially since we have a couple advanced kits and we can, in like a week, learn to make more of them. They do heal quite a lot more, but you have to have basic medic training in order to use them. It's unfortunate that your recent soldiers have proven to be so mediocre. Yeah, they are though. I mean, rookies, you know, give you a perception. Better chance of actually spotting an enemy. And you, I was going to train to be a Ranger, but, um, you still need to heal up for that. So... Yeah. We'll see. I can do a little bit more, but soon-ish I gotta think about wrapping it up. Some mutants there. I need to find more resources, generally. Um, like, basic alloys we're kind of okay on. I think this is the only alloy that I'm not actually currently getting with anybody. Because this base isn't connected. But I could connect this base. There's also a fancy alloy up there, but you don't really link up very well at all. Oh, that'd have to be one, two, three, or one, two, three, and three links regardless, which is going to be like another nine alien alloys per day? Hour? I don't know. Maybe hour. I'm only losing two and three of those anyway, it's not a huge deal. 
Is anything idle? No. Okay, well, the libraries are idle, but that doesn't quite count. But, actually, if I were to go to Moscow... Uh, yeah, I can't demolish the library, because I've already got the basic implants doing... I've got those. So, I can't swap out the libraries, because we need the knowledge to have them in the first place. Makes upgrading the libraries into a school a bit of a problem. Could get rid of the medical lab. Turn that into a library, and then, or a school, and then get rid of the libraries and upgrade that way. A lot of work. And I don't know if I'll remember in time. I mean, yeah, we could see about expanding out this away and seeing what all we can do for it. Because I'm not terribly interested in, like, finishing up these little corner bits and bubs. Eventually, it'll pop off like this anyway, where it just automatically um, becomes somewhat available to us. And I don't really want to go down here too much, because there's a huge section that is just, like... You cannot have a base here. Or anything. It is just wasted area to have to route through. But I guess our better bet is, yeah, just out here somewhere. And, uh... We explore around the, the states. Yeah, and it, like, just... I don't even know if you can get up here, really. I'm not sure. I think it's just, like... A little strip here, like most of this is unusable land. It's really not an area I want to be around. And then as we go out more toward Russia, some of the areas get pretty fucking big. But these are also uninhabitable. Hmm. We'll head out toward the states and see what we can do. Hopefully get a couple nice big bases there that we can do stuff in. These little, like, three, four bases aren't so hot. I don't know if they get up to six. Probably not. Africa can be settled only around the coast, and the provinces are huge. Russia's Far East is also uninhabitable. Hmm. Yeah, so really not over there at all. Yeah, and yeah, the rest of this little itty-bitty area, this will just get cleaned up on its own. Like, look at this shit. What? You're up. You're up, please. And this guy, when I was playing before the stream in my save, I don't know how to track to this guy. <laughs> I don't know who goes there. The couple there, you could link up to easy bases here. If they got materials that are worth looking at, maybe it's Maybe it's worth looking into. Yeah, maybe. We can look into the cultist threat. Maybe queue it up. It's a Laputa lab thing. At least get it on the docket for shit to do. And basic Sonic's lab as well. Ugh, at some point. I'm more going with the uh, cyborg dudes rather than side dudes. But I think we wrap it up here. It's kind of an okay stop point-ish, sort of. We've just discovered the cultists, which is, I think, then all the basic factions covered. Womp. I can send them materials. They'll never like you, though. Unfortunately. And these guys like us enough that if I really need materials, I can ask them for it, and they'll send over a bunch. Like, we got 3,000 alien alloys when I talked to the cyborg, so it's not a... It's not a huge deal. You can also kind of trade with them a little bit. You ask for materials, reset the thing to neutral, and then you give them some materials that you've got a ton of, and then you ask for materials again. So you can kind of do a little bit of switching and swapping. To an extent. It's not really hugely worth it. What's the axe? Hmm. Not sure how to read this exactly. 
It's just like more interface clutter, really. <laughs> Water road research. Save on tons of roads with that one. Water road research. I don't know. I mean, like these these pathways, I can do these. If that's what you mean, that you can always do the water tracks. But I, I think you might be thinking something else. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. I'll be back for some more of this though next uh, next week on Tuesday. We'll continue on with this. It's a good game. We're finally at the point that we're past the beginning of the game, which is a, a bit of a slog because the weapons that you start with, as you've seen, they're they're terrible. Like you can't you can't do anything with them. But they're inaccurate and short range. Uh, and you're fighting things that don't mind taking eleven percent pot shots and all that. It's it's rough. But once we start getting some proper weapons rolled out, we'll get a proper sniper rolled out, the other assault rifles, we'll be able to get a machine gun and see how that goes. Uh, it'll be good. We'll be able to do missions with a lot of haste. And uh, then it becomes more of just a geoscape resource management sim for a little while until things happen. For the aftershock has yet not yet happened. I link up Turkey through Spain and the UK. Get those bases with few roads and demolish the land road there. That's what you meant. Ah. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it's really like a little bit. I gotta explore around and see how I can make the tracks more efficiently. But I think they're fairly efficient for now. I mean, I've only gotten one alien alloy thingy anyway. <laughs> not really that great, which I never actually did anything with you. Are you really just three slots? What a piece. All right, well, have a school then. And then that knowledge level can improve how many alien allies we get a little bit. Haha. It won't be enough, but it will mitigate. So. <laughs> Dream 1. The game does autosave. Thank Christ. Just in case. Though I do plan on going Iron Man with this, where, like, if a mission goes totally wrong and we lose everybody, then so be it. 